Our Lords is an indie passion project, and even though it's been seven years since uh, the game is, well, the game still needs more time to be fully complete. Let's be honest, certain game or platform features might not work as expected, and you will probably encounter bugs or crashes. Feel free to drop feedback in the Discord server, and for support, please contact uh, support at hoodedhorse.com. Thank you for understanding as I continue to work on the game. Greg, Manor Lords Dev. Welcome back. Good to see you all here. For our continuation at our first look at the first time all of us content creators could take a look at Manor Lords. Earlier today, we built a city in the standard mode, which is called Restore the Peace, which allows you to build a military and take on a military as you conquer all the different um, little regions in the game. Now, even if we play on peaceful, the more peaceful mode, there is still, of course, raiders, bandits, and brigands that we can take on rather than just the enemy armies. So there's still plenty of danger and uh, other things out there, even if you want a more peaceful experience. Kind of reminding me a little bit more of, like, Farthest Frontier that way, where you'll be raided and have to defend against it. Although, with the bandits, they kind of just rob you, and there's not much you can do about it, except for wiping out their camp. So, that's an important thing. But, Manor Lords, what an incredible experience it has been so far. We've been waiting for so long, and now we get to take our first look at it. It's awesome. We're continuing on. We've got a live stream on the channel already from earlier today. We got our first look video up now and now we're back for more because it's just an amazing and impressive game. Today we're going to try to build in a different area and I think what we'll do is during our AM streams at the beginning of the day we'll play in that combat mode, the restore the peace mode, and in the evenings we'll play a kind of a more peaceful setting although we will set it up to have danger and combat too against those bandits I mentioned. So that way we get two different experiences with the uh, more challenging experience called Over the Edge being one that's got, or On the Edge, it's, got, it's the one that's just most insane. Like it's pro mode. Like I feel like everybody's gonna have to play through the game a few times before they even know what to do there. Like every mouse click will matter. That's how that's like. So anyway, welcome back to Manor Lords everybody. Smash that like button, make sure you subscribe and let's jump back in for more Manor Lords. We'll be starting a fresh new game here today for this one so last time our banner in the previous series was this blue and yellow for our uh the uh game mode that's called of course restoring the peace the standard game mode is what i want to say so we'll pick a whole different lord to play as this time around and uh we'll go with young pewdiepie and we'll uh, pick a whole new banner let's pick some different colors too hmm All right, we're going to make a banner, pick a name. Very exciting. Very exciting. Let's pick that middle there. There we go. And, of course, me, Raptor. Now, some things I've learned from our previous playthroughs, too. I now know more effectively how to basically create a, uh, a town very quickly based on a few things that have changed from the demo. So today we will uh, kind of show off some of those things, too. So everything you've seen so far has been in the demo, like the portrait system and the coat of arms and whatnot. And the start is pretty much the same, but there's a few things that have been changed around in the last few years that we'll, we'll get a hold of. So let's see, what colors should we choose? Maybe a blue. Oh, that looks neat. Hmm. Bum, bum. Yeah, we're starting a fresh new run today. For this stream. Our PM streams will be this new run. I'm trying to figure out what, what I want to do for a symbol here. I wish you could bleed over into the other ones, but I think it'll get covered by the layer. Yeah, unfortunately. I can't make it go on top. Well, we'll just go with this then. I was hoping to maybe put a symbol over all of those, but we can't. So we'll go with that. We could also go with that color too, but this would kind of be cool. And we'll figure out what all these mean later. Grain, water, blood, I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay, so we're going to go for the uh, Rise to Prosperity. Our goal here is to try to build a large town settlement level. And then after that, you can actually continue building whenever. So it's kind of more like the realistic building mode you still it's not a free build mode but you know we can build uh, a town with all things considered like uh, having to gather the materials ourselves and whatnot uh oh i forgot to save that that emblem too just in case we want to reload the map Ugh. hold on let me go back and change that but anyway i think we're gonna 
What was that one? Yellow? Go eat yellowish there. Yellow, blue, and red. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we're going to focus on the end goal of growth. There's also conquest mode, but... Oh, also, I guess you could put it into a sandbox mode by literally just choosing no goal at all. But I think it's good to work towards a goal, because... Literally, with this one, once you complete the uh, large town settlement, you get to keep playing anyway. So, yo, Todd, thank you very much for the uh, Raptor Bear Cub membership. Welcome aboard. All right, so we got relaxing default. What does relaxing do? Starting supplies double. Medium penalty. Challenging. Oh, also with challenging, you start in the winter. That's kind of not that difficult, I think, for the first year. So long as you build an immediate hunting cabin, you should be okay. Although everybody might die from not having homes. That might be bad. All right, let's go with this. We'll start with that mode. The uh, other two modes, again, are restoring the peace. This is one where you'll have to conquer all the other regions and actually battle it out with uh, conquering territory back. And then on the edge is just like that mode, but even more difficult with... Faster enemy movement, and they come at you at a much faster rate. What's up, MG Adam? Thank you very much for the eight months. Hope you're having a great day too. Welcome aboard. All right, there's our early access map. I think we'll, I think we'll just do the default mode here, knowing that it'll still be as challenging for our first time. Let's go. And also, we're gonna like maybe reload the map. We're gonna start in, and if it kind of looks meh, we'll go, we'll go jump into a different area. We'll see how it goes. Yes, we must have Fritz. Fritz is back, baby. And now we know some things about uh, the oxen and a few other uh, things that we've learned since last time. Oh, this is neat. We're up on a big old hill. Oh, we're up here. Ah, uh, this view shows you which regions are under whose control. You can press claims to other regions when you have enough influence. Victory condition growth. Where others see trouble, you see potential. These lands shall become rich and prosperous under your skillful management. Reach the large town settlement level to achieve victory. Prosperity awaits. Manor lords' families need food and fuel and a roof above their heads to survive. Supplies in the region panel above uh, shows how much you've got left. Oh, look at that. We got a lot of clay. So that's one thing we can start exporting is clay goods. Well, that's kind of nice. I want to make sure this looks cool to build a city on, though. Like, what's one of the, what's one of the coolest regions? I think we were building over here, in our uh, in our other video. We were building over here, in our other stream. What's the fertility like? Oh, pretty good. Every region in Manor Lords has strengths and weaknesses. Be sure to check that all resource deposits as well as investigate the soil fertility before deciding on which direct but before, before deciding on the direction of your town if your region has weak fertility consider setting up trade early oh. uh, clay is for making clay roof tiles and then you can export those and that's probably worth a lot of money uh, let's see I want to see the other fertility. This is actually a pretty good spot to farm, too. Look at that. Flax fertility. Barley, too. Rye. Wow, this is really good for farming. And we're kind of up on a hill. And we got a stream nearby? Oh, no, that's uh, a road. But the stream is down here. I can hear it. Yeah. How lovely. I like it. But I don't love it. Let's roll the dice again. See what else we get.
All right, let's go again. Oh, look at that combat. Hmm. Oh wait, this is exactly where we were building in the other in the other series. Now we need somewhere different and new. Although this is different because it has different resources. But this is the one where we built the church up there and yeah. I was thinking about it after that after we ended our last stream and I was like, man, I could have did so much more, but then I realized with all that rain that we had there was so many setbacks, like extra rain and other things that were kinda out of my control. Hmm. What's up, DHN? Good to see you. Yeah, bandits will be able to attack us. We got a lot of stone here and a lot of uh, clay again. What does this region look like? Hmm. Road in the middle, we got a nice hill here. Lots of clay again. We gotta get the perfect spot, so I'm, I'm willing to keep resetting until we get something that really wows me, you know? I wanna be wowed. Go again. Thank you very much, 250, for your Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Well, we got a lot of iron ore and stone. Hmm. Ooh, a little bit of a, like a hill cliff here. Ah, it's the same map though, isn't it? Ah, oh. oh, it's the same region from before. Got to go for the perfect one. It's got to be the perfect city. It's got to be perfect. You want a big old cliff? There is one with a cliff. We'll see if we get it. This one actually might be it. Uh, not quite. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Well, we got a big old cliff right there. It's a pretty damn good spot to build our manor. I, th I think we got a winner here. Wow, and lots of berries and iron. It was meant to be. All right, this is the one. This is the one. All right, everybody, welcome to Raptoria. Our series begins now. Let's go. We found the right spot. Let's rename our city. Uh, specialize your region. After you reach the next settlement level, you'll be granted a development point to spend. Unlock development branches to make your region more efficient. To enact policies, you will need to rise your administration level by... Uh, building administrative buildings like the manor. All right, let's do it. So, we'll do just that. Oh, wait, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Forgot the uh, other parts of that one. Hey, there we go. Raptoria again. Fritztopia? Exactly. And that beautiful cliff is going to be amazing to build a uh, manor on. I got to remember where that is. Right here. Oh, it's perfect. 
Now, where's our little city? Right there, okay. Wow, we spawn right next to iron ore and berries? Great. And the cliff is right up there. So we can build the city here. And then we can build our manor right up here. So let's get clear and land. Where's the road? There it is. Okay. We're ready to go. We are locked in. This is perfect. Some workplaces allow villagers to use handcarts to transport up to 10 goods at once. However, pulling a handcart off-road is extremely slow, so make sure to connect your buildings to roads. Roads? Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Damn right. Okay. And I see a little contour here. I'm going to build some nice roads that go up there. So, we're going to make a beautiful, prosperous, and probably the best city we've ever made in Manor Lords. We've got experience from the demo, we've got experience of a few days of uh, gameplay before today, and we spent a good amount of time building a beautiful, beautiful city today. But this one could be even better. And this could be the best one of all time. Great entrance. Stunning. Take a look at fertility. Ooh, very good on rye. All right, perfect. We can make lots of bread. We can farm up there. Barley, not looking so good, but we can still do it. Flax, not looking so good. Emmer is okay. So we're alright. Not too bad. Bum, bum, bum. And welcome back, Alex. Good to see you. I'm the absolute best. You are correct. Okay. I think we'll build a logging camp over here in the woods. And we'll clear cut everything. Okay, so we need to transport timber via the oxen, of course. Apollo, 41 months, dude. Welcome back. Good to see you. Welcome. laser focus mode now. Alright, cool. Let's remove some of the brush around there. Okay, we'll build a shrine, entrance to our city. Excellent. Okay, now away to the logging camp. Connect that way there. No. No, I'm going to do that a different way.
Okay, here. Locked into this road builder, baby. Road building simulator. All right, there we go. Okay, we need to build another hitching post. Because we know we can get two oxen. We'll make the logging mill the highest priority. Then we'll need our storehouse. Change of thought. firewood splitter here. Actually, wait, we'll connect this through like this. Then, let's build a storehouse back here. Next to all that. Alright, so lumber mill, this will be for logs, then we've got storage, then we need our hitching posts again. Build that one there. And we can leave one where it is now. Okay, then we need to buy another ox. We can buy another one. Order another ox. Locked in. Alright, so now we can move logs twice as fast. This is important. This is probably the biggest move in the game, is to buy a second ox right away, because you can then pull logs from the logging camp into the storage, and then logs from the storage to your other build sites. The Fritz Freeway, that's right. Fritz is the, is the boss. Alright, let's on pause, and let's go. Now, while they're working, I'm going to continue to lay stuff out, so we'll do like a granary. And actually, let me just check real quick for... Okay, well. Oh, lots of places to build a well. A lot of fertility up there for farming. And a lot where we have to build, but it's literally where we started. That, that is what it is. Maybe we could build our church here in the town back further in the in the woods. Keep building the roads. Roads? Raptor, did you say you're building roads? coming from he's around here somewhere okay so our second ox that we purchased is on the road he'll be here soon also remember you'll need to buy one hitching post per ox and whatnot, otherwise they will kind of run away. You don't want that to happen. Mm -hmm. 
berries. Yeah, we're going to be gathering berries. Oh, dude, we're going to put a freaking... Dude, we're going to put a, a manor right up here. It's going to look so cool. It's going to be like our fortress. It's going to be amazing. Yellow iron. I think it was just showing where iron was. Like, hey... Like, hey, careful, don't build here. This is where the deposit is. It's just telling you, like, hey, might not want to build here. Build our forester back here. All right, Forager. Forester's going to be a little later. Yeah, they ship an ox in a box. That's right. Yeah, I mentioned in our previous stream that the uh, first stream that we did will continue that town in the mornings, which will focus more on combat and warfare and kind of the main game mode. And in the evenings, we're going to work on this prosperity mode, which has to do more with city building, uh, of building the biggest city possible, getting the large city uh, achievement. And that'll be the goal. Is it me? But I don't mind a fresh start because we get to build in different areas. We get to see different regions right at the start of the game. And I think the landscape is really the most interesting and probably the most and biggest determining factor of what kind of a city you build based on its uh, fertility and landscape. But there will be bandits here. Or there should be bandits here. I hope there's bandits here. In the settings, I didn't check, but I hope we actually do get to see bandits. I hope so. Okay, we're going to do zoning. church there but we could try to get some much bigger plots I think we'll need a lot more logs to do that Yeah, there's settings for peaceful mode, or rather the prosperity mode, to add bandits, and uh, they will, like, rob you. They will take things from you. I'm fairly certain. Where's our other oxen? There he is. All right, let's speed up time a little bit.
We'll leave people on a sign to do construction. Woodcutter's hut complete. Now, they're right. We got to store stuff right away for the uh, granary. Could store that back here. Cool. Let's actually uh, make that a high priority too to store our food right away. We start with a little bit of bread and some logs and some stones, so. If we're able to change the settings mid game, no. Nope. Pretty. Looks like home. I know, isn't it beautiful? It's truly majestic. What a wonderful city we have. How much wood would a woodcutter cut if a woodcutter could cut wood? Well, he'd probably cut as much wood as a woodcutter could if a woodcutter could cut wood. I hope. <gasps> Nerdapalooza dropping five gifted memberships for the YouTube chat. Let's go. Thank you very much for the support. Oh, there we go. Well, the granary's going in. We got a forger already. I'm going to build all that stuff, then the houses. The hooses, bud. You know, I feel like we might be able to make I feel like we could build these right on the edge here. Might redesign things. Change of plans. I'm going to have to kind of make this, yeah.
Okay, maybe like that. I know we're getting stun locked. Hey, it's gonna make a difference. If we try to utilize a lot of this space, it'll make a big difference. Ooh, it'll take 10 logs. We could cut it in half. Still takes a lot of logs. Okay, so we'll need a lot more wood. We might be able to do, uh, might be able to do some stuff there. Come along, lad. According to this song, we must build a huge cathedral. Yeah. Come on. How do you rate this game so far? I think I'd rate it a yes. Okay, let's move that hitching post. Yo, know, Rod, with the five bomb as well. Kitty. Kitty. Thank you very much for the five gifted memberships for the YouTube chat. I know, two weeks for everybody to wait, but uh, can you send a militia to wipe out bandits to prevent theft? You can, yep. You have to wipe out their camp. They'll fight you for it, but... Kill the bandits, destroy their camp, and uh, you're threat-free for a little bit. Oh, gonna have some rain here, I think. Gotta get that granary done. We got it on the high high priority. Luckily the roads are an insta build, and you can basically build them and delete them for free. Sitting at home sick? Aw, well welcome to the stream. Hopefully this chills you out for a little bit. It's Manor Lords. It's got curing properties. Consult your doctor before using Manor Lords. Food quickly. I want two people to go pick up all the bread. Getting all wet with rain. Warning peaceful napping may occur, yeah. I really hope we get bandits. I want to do some fighting too. We can at least hire troops. Stay with his hey, welcome to the stream, Viking Gamer. Alright, another hitching post complete. Soon. And soon the 
missing some. I wonder who's floating away today. Hasn't stopped since the morn. Okay, we have 11 timber now. A lot of room there. The larger the plot, I think the more benefit we get when we upgrade it to, for example, more food or more eggs or whatever. Yo, Megapo, thank you very much for the five gifted memberships for the chat, too. Thank you and welcome back to you. Hope everybody's enjoying Manor Lords. I think I am. I am. Would you look at that? We could build... Now, this is interesting. We can pack a bunch of homes in here. Or we could pack three in and do, like, a little... Like, main house, guest building, and then, like, a plot. I think we should do that. Let's start with those three. for some of that stuff to be moved out of the way. Oh, there they go. They're loading all the bread now. Uh, th some things never change, huh, folks? One guy doing all the work, two standing around supervising. Alright, good. They're bringing all the food into storage. Excellent. So at least we won't lose the food. Yeah, we're going to try out the larger homes and see how they all play out. Yeah, we need more. More timber is needed. But we also need two unassigned people to work those oxen to all around those logs. Alright, let's speed up time. Actually, before we do that, let's plan out the church. Ooh. That'd be a nice spot like that. We'll see. We shall see. The one person to work at the storehouse to store th um, firewood for a little bit. Got to get that locked in. Alright, first house going up. Yeah, the homeless camp will disappear once everybody has a house. Yep. Now, actually, speaking of which, let's try to start growing crops right away so that way when winter comes around, we'll have more food and that could give us a higher approval bonus. Yields depend on the plot size. So the bigger that you build these houses and such, the more food that you can get from these. But it doesn't say anything about that for chickens. So the bigger house maybe should be for farming. Family request a market stall. Okay.
Well, let's build a little market here then. Well-supplied marketplace is the lifeblood of your town. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically as long as there is enough space in the market. Hover over specific categories to check your supply and demand. Burgage plots closest to the market get their market demands fulfilled first. We'll see how that goes. Looks like for another two, we could expand the living space, and another family can live on that burgage plot. So we can get more people into a smaller area. Medium density, basically. So if we upgrade two of these, we could actually get five people in there. We'll build the other two houses first. Is Fritz, <laughs> Is Fritz included in the approval rating? He approves. He knows our true potential. Another house complete. I think I'll turn this third one into another vegetable farm. Well, we got a little bit of wood. Okay, off to a good start. Just need room to expand. Vegetable lords, yeah. Vegetarian lords, yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, two of five have houses. Always exciting to watch this. We need to hoist this timber to the gate. Another house complete. Now let's make that one immediately make carrots too. Vegetables. It shows carrots, but I, I'm pretty sure they always grow like cabbage. At least that's what it always looks like. Off to a good start. I'm already tempted to, like, you know, start playing on the hardest difficulty to really make things challenging and slow. But then I think to myself, wait a minute, I also want to, like, see the end game. And I don't know how time consuming 
even the regular mode is. So it's like, on one hand, I want the hardest experience, big challenge, so that way Mother Nature is ruthless, disease is rampant, uh, you know, everything's, everything's always on the edge of defeat or the edge of everyone dying. But also I want to see what it's like to upgrade the manor and the church to tier two without having to play for, you know, six and a half months straight in IRL time just to see it. But I want the big challenge. I think, I think we'll do that in the future. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait to build our manor up here. We got some freaking cliffs. And we're going to put our manor right up here. Because we've stood right here before with our lord. And you can look over the town. Right from up here. Keep an eye on them. Make sure they're doing their job. It's called upper management. How do you get to the top of the cliff? You can run up there. You can, you can run off the roads and pretty much... You can actually, I think, run across the whole map. I don't even think anything would stop you from running into the other regions, but... We're going to run up here and take a look around a little bit. Yeah, this part's really cool. Look, now we're high up. And we can look over the town. You can already see the houses from here. The... Uh, what is that thing? The... Logging camp from here. I think the thumbnail for today's video is me literally standing here with us having a town in front of us. Luckily, we got to be careful. Uh, I think your character does... It's a survival game, too, so your character does need to eat, and there is fall damage in the game. Oh, my God! Just kidding. There's no fall damage at all. You're fine. So, you know, if that happens, it's all good, and you don't need to worry about it too much. Just be calm and chill. It's just an enjoyable, calm, relaxing game. Everything's totally fine. Oh, look, it rained a little bit. You can see Matt. It's everywhere. The puddles. Can you walk up to the bandits? That's a good question. I'm pretty sure you can, and nothing will happen. Essentially, we're just a we're just a camera flying around with a 3D character. Our our uh, lord does have a sword on him, though, so maybe perhaps there'll be a way to actually fight the bandits and stuff in the future, which would be kind of cool. So, your character can't do much at the moment, but as it, as it says, uh, early in development, expect glitches. It's visit mode, but I really want to see. Uh, Actually, somehow being able to interna interact with the world, which would be cool. I got you, not going to lie. Yeah. No, it's cool. We're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> the cape saved me. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm a superhero, so... Yeah, obviously, telling by the cape, all I had to do was that superhero thing where I, I land with, like, you know, my fingers in the dirt. And I create a character. I'm known as a feudal man. Yeah, it's interesting. I stood on that cliff and we looked at the town over here. So I, I guess when we first built one time, it must have been all down there. But here we're at the top of a hill. I feel like we're safe. And also, drainage. A lot of people don't think about drainage. But you got to think about drainage, chat, okay? Jeez, Otherwise, you'll be sad if you don't think about drainage. All right, where's the next house being built? Oh, we're building like three or four.
Yeah, always good to think about drainage. Hell yeah! Alright, we're now a level one settlement, and we got a development point. And I'm gonna hold on to it for now. And we're gonna get on building that church. Oh yeah, look at that, the homeless camp, gone. Now, in order to build the church, which will give us extra influence and whatnot, or at least help to attract more people into the city, we need to build a saw pit. So we we got to build planks. We're going to basically make planks now. So the planks will go in next. Okay, let's start cutting down trees for fire. Okay, so now we've got, um, I think, everything going so we can try to attract more people. Splendid work on the roof, good sirs. Houses are done. Good. Saw pit under construction. That sure does look like one big old pit. Our main goal is to try to build a church as quickly as possible. Get rid of the negative vibes and start getting cool, super awesome people in the city. That axe really needs some sharpening. Done. All right, we're done with the construction for now, so let's get somebody to start making planks. Okay, firewood looks good for now. What about a well? There we go. All right, they want us to unassign somebody. I don't even know if water is like really required, but it could be a good thing for prevention of disease.
The good thing about having extra berries too, having them as a large deposit, is that we can make dye out of the berries and start selling the dye for some good money. Shut down the woodcutter for now so we can build our next building. Yeah, we've started a new town and a new game mode in a new region. Everything here is fresh and new. Never before seen. First look. Exclusive. World premiere. Deluxe. Ultimate. Premium. Select. Complimentary. Comp. Etc. What resources do we have? We have all the same ones as before. But we also have a rich berry deposit and a rich iron deposit. We're rich! Good. Alright, we got 15 planks. Oh, dude, we're speed building the church. Church is going to start construction in like June of year one. Speed run. This is good. How long does it take to start bowling the neighbors? Well, I guess it depends on how early you're making money because probably one of the earliest things you can do military wise is just hire someone else to do it. And there we go. Now we can build the church. Wait, not enough goods. Oh, we need more timber. We'll need a few more timbers. We need five. I town exactly. Place market near uh, homes. Well, our market's right here. I I don't think I can get any closer. If it's if going across the street is too far, I don't know if we're gonna make it. I gotta go outside. <laughs> Okay, we need a little bit more wood. Anywhere. 
We need five timbers. Five Timothy burrs. Has performance been good? I don't know, chat. You tell me. You're, do you like the stream? Have I, have I been funny? Am I entertaining? Are you not entertained? Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Follow. Become a member. Do you like this performance? All of all of this. <laughs> also, I got some really cool stuff coming up in the uh, next couple of months, chat. So exclamation point Instagram and exclamation point Twitter. Follow me there. We got Manor Lords news and some other cool stuff coming up as well as a couple secret projects. If you think Manor Lords is big, it is big. But I got something else to share very soon. Soon. <coughs> Let's see if we can put a... Uh, we could put a road there. And build a church on it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Would you look at that? This is heavier than it looks. I think that's perfect. All right, begin building of the church. You know, doctor, but access to water is usually a good idea for your people. Yeah, unless your people are like uh, middle school and high school uh, football players. Coach, I need a drink. No, you'll get cramped, boy. Take a t Water's for weakness. Take a salt tablet, son. Dehydration is the sign of victory. Helmet's not a chair, son. Get a hand in. And <laughs> save water, drink beer, exactly. I still want there to be an option to control what trees that can be cut down by each of these different buildings. I feel like I would like to have some forest around my village, but I can't really control where they cut. Sports? Yeah, I played sports. Or, I guess, some physical activities. A couple of teams. Ski team. Bowling team. I was also on the A team. We were with the guy who always pitied fools. But I, I enjoyed it when a plan came together. It was a lot of fun. Mmm, you're right. We will need a name for the inn. When we get to that point, the tavern or the inn, we're going to need a name. <laughs> the thumb wrestling team. Are we building a highway? Yeah, we're doing a big old uh, 22 lane extension. That, yeah, just toss on a couple more, more lanes. That'll work. 
The get in. I like that. Ooh, the ox in. Wow. That might be the uh forerunner runner on the uh the tavern name. You you can't remember is there trading? Yep, you could trade in this game. You <laughs> So you can buy and sell animals and uh, crops and manufactured goods, commodities. We're after the party bus in. It'll confuse the villagers what's a bus. Uh-oh. Well, I don't know. At this rate, chat's already dropped a few gift bombs and a lot earlier today, which was insane. So, uh... Yeah, exclamation point gift. Make sure you've got that membership gifting turned on on YouTube. So someone else can drop drop you a gift. All right, got to watch the church construction because this is fascinating. We've seen this before, but watching the church be constructed, it's like a monument. Can you trade for weapons and armor? Uh, if you can afford it, yeah. That's true. Bye. Berries, berries, bursting with flavor. Fit for a king. Hi. Oh, is that Fritz? I love him. we got going connected to a road area okay yeah you can yeah there there's a way to set well not production limits but there's a way to limit where things go so, like, for example, with the storehouse, we can uh, we can tell it to accept everything or nothing or, like, certain things. So, you, you can build a storehouse. If you have, like, a blacksmith and you're storing a ton of iron ore for the blacksmith, you can make it so that way a storehouse built next to the blacksmith only stores, like, charcoal and, um, and iron or something like that. And then there's also, like, work limits for that, too, like a work area. So, like, you can limit it to be like a particular location so if you want it to just you, you can limit the goods and that's kind of one way to limit the work area based on the industry but there are ways to set work areas so like you can you can limit that way which is one way to do it with the logging camp too but you can't do it with specific trees like you can you can kind of like set a work area this way but it's very limited you see and you can't see what it is so there there is like earlier I mentioned, I wish there was a way to cut down specific trees or whatever. You can imagine having to do this time after. You have to come back here and, and do that. You can't just, like, paint an area, you know? Like, you can only click. Like, in, for example, um, you know, in Farthest Frontier, you can hold a button and paint all the trees, the, you know, a color, and then they'll cut them down. Or in Foundation, you can, like, kind of paint an area, too, and they'll cut down all the trees in here. But you can only do a... Um, yeah, there's, there's not, like, a, a way to do it forever. Like, it's a very... Because, like, look. For this thing, if you set the work area to just a couple of trees here, I mean, they'll cut that down in no time. But that one of the best things about this game is the logging camp works very quickly. This like, heavier than it looks. you cut down, like, uh, ten trees within, like, ten seconds. And then you can just shut it off. So if you ever need some logs, you pop that on, pop it off, and you're good. But I do wish there was a way... Without having to go back there multiple times, I wish there was just a way to just say, like, hey, don't cut down these trees. Don't cut down those trees. 
or to highlight areas where like just cut these trees you know that kind of thing otherwise you have to kind of work you have to move the logging camp and like do that and so, uh, because you want the logging camp also to be close to where the forest is to minimize the movement time. Because the logging area can be moved for free. And same with the uh, the woodcutter camp, too. And same with the... Uh, no, not the storehouse. But those two can. And I think one more thing. The hunting camp, for example, can be built and moved for free. Speaking of which, we could build that, too. Only takes a little bit of time. Hey, a new family moved in. All right, we got our first new people in the town. All right. Wait, really? Our approval rating was only at 49%. Damn, this people love this city already. They don't even care. They're just they're just already forcing their way in. That's awesome. Wow. All right. That that's actually surprising. Somebody just moved in. We're doing that well, chat. It's inarguable. Cool. All right, all good. You want Manor Lord so bad? Yeah, Farthest Frontier is a good game to play in the meantime, though. I think some of the skills from Manor Lords although they play very differently. A lot of the things are also very much similar, where you're like trying to do certain things to convince a population to move in and try to keep them happy and make sure that you store food. You know, you can't just like provide food like on a one-to-one -one ratio. You gotta like prepare and store food and then make sure you've got more than enough. Otherwise people like don't, don't trust you if you just got a little bit. You gotta provide a lot of varieties. all about mini varieties. Why do I have to carry this alone? Come one, come all. Feast your eyes and I'll find some. We need more logs. Yeah, we do. I will right, leave one person on a sign to transport. Okay, so in order to start construction on the church, we just need uh, what is that? Nineteen nine. We need nine more planks to be delivered and ten more stone to be delivered too, and then they can start uh, making. Construction. Forty-two varieties, yeah. Yeah, anytime you join our streams, if you see the character portrait in the upper right corner and the coat of arms in the upper right corner different, then you know we're doing something a little different. So in the mornings when we play, at our first stream of the day, we'll be playing the Restoring the Peace scenario mode and that will be essentially essentially manor lords is always the same build a city and take over other regions but in this mode it's going to be doing things more peacefully and going for prosperity and for trade but yet we still have to survive against starvation disease hypothermia you know exposure to the elements and possibly raiders i don't know how we got it set up but you could still kind of be attacked by thieves and robbers and brigands and whatever else. So, there's that. So, peek at that, uh, peek at that profile. The Stumble Inn, that's what we should name our, uh, tavern? Awesome. I like it. Let's keep this pinned. 
I'm gonna wait for all the stone to be delivered. And we'll let everybody get caught up. Tavern name, more loot. Genius. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Yeah, only one person making this game. That's right. <laughs> the tavern name should be what game is this? Uh. You know what's going to be interesting too, chat, is eventually when we're playing this game and we fill up one part of the map, no matter what save we're playing, we're eventually, you know, once one region is fully operational and pumping out all the stuff it needs to, like let's say this one's all about farming, when we move to the next region and let's say this one's all about iron mining, we're going to have to build a whole new city and stuff too. So every time that you go to a whole new area, you're going to have to build a whole new city and start from scratch. But yet you can still import goods from the other city and it might be a little faster and whatnot, but still it'll be like a, every time we expand, it'll be like a whole new, like starting a whole new game because it'll be, you know, a different part of the map. You'll not have all the starting resources, that kind of thing. They allow you an area where lumberjacks lay down the trees. Oh, really? I'll have to look into that further. This game's everything you wish Ostrieve was? Really? Ostrieve's a good game. All right, let's go check on that church. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Bread, freshly baked, but still warm from the oven. You will not find finer bread anywhere else. Berries, berries. We need to get some more people on this construction. It's going to take a while. Never mind. A family just moved in. Literally, as I mentioned it, somebody moved in. They're starting on the construction team. Yeah, maybe Austria will get a combat system in the future. I mean, there is a giant mace at the bottom of the screen when you play, but it could be something to do with crime and punishment. Maybe there'll be raiders or something in the future. It's still in development, just like this game. The Cozy Bear? Uh-huh. Can you copy a basic city layout in every region? I mean, you could... Like, there's no blueprinting mode, but you could definitely find a layout that works and then use it in other towns. Oh, right, here we go. Now, now we're doubling our speed here. Pull a cart in. Wow. We need to hoist this timber to the gable. Yeah, this is visit mode, like third person walking around. Pretty amazing. Just give me a hammer and something nice 
Oh, look at that. Pretty fascinating, this. The fast and the cautious. <laughs> wow, Reggie dropping 20 gifted memberships into the chat. Damn, dude. 20 people being gifted a membership from that. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate you. Wow. If, I, if only I could get 20 people into my city. But I do like to watch these new building builds in slow motion, or rather, normal speed. It's cool to see the people work and then all the pieces pop into place. Well. Yeah, thank you again, chat, for all the support. Thank you for following, thank you for subscribing, thanks for liking the video. Appreciate you guys' support. Look at that, brother. Just give me a hammer and something needs to not move. I'll put it in this place. John, thank you very much hey. for the three hundo bits. Oh, that is. Thank you very much. <laughs> and Rex with a five bomb as well. Champion right there. Thank you very much, Rex. Good to see you back in the chat. Lock, he, locked in. Three-point harness. Locked in. Imagine, chat, when we get a chance to upgrade the church from a wooden church to a stone building, or the manor, building that, uh, just just the base manor. We're going to try to see that in uh, third person today. When we played earlier today, too, I was trying to answer everybody's questions and go slow and be observant to see everything that was different from the demo. But we're learning fast, and we're going to try to optimize but still appreciate the game we don't want to play on like you know f times four Anderson, speed and just sloppily build things this game deserves every every second is a little morsel has to be savored like when you're Ray, eating guillard cheese still warm from the oven. no that's not true you just eat the whole block just come right. on come on feast your eyes on our fine selection like tom and jerry when the mouse would eat a piece of cheese, you just put the whole thing in. Chat, which one was which? Which one was Tom? Tom Cat? Jerry Mouse? Is that how that goes? Yes? Okay. Also, we can go in some of the buildings in this game, kind of. Like earlier, we built the farm, and we're actually able to drop, like, walk into the barn because it doesn't have any doors or anything. I was actually surprised that one, we were allowed to go on the plot, and two, we actually could walk around like in in the farm area. Uh oh. Hi right, guys, stream's over. They put up a <laughs> they put up a fence. It's a privacy fence. We can't. Oh. All right, guys, let's show a little bit more hustle for the stream. Let's go. We're making content here. Get a hand in. Helmet's not a chair. Got two hands. I'd like to see people hammering with two hands, please. Thank you. Okay, profit margins must be maintained. Shareholders appeased, etc. Make sure you put your life, mind, and body, soul on the line for the shareholder. Thanks. Appreciate it. Let's not see any time off task. Yo, MPH, thank you very much for your five bomb as well. All right, people, beat it. Job's done. Go home. Ma'am? What you looking at? Ma'am? We'll just uh, we'll just see what's taking so long. 
Is she in awe of the stream? Maybe. Oh, she's leaving. She was on break. MPH, thanks again, dude, for the big old five bomb. Awesome. Church is done. It's so fascinating to watch the construction of that. I hope there's more large-scale buildings like this that we can build. Of course, we got the manor, but, you know. Hopefully, we could build, like, a giant data center, a post office, tower crane, building a, an office. We'll be there soon. We just got to get the right upgrades. That's cool. Happiness is at 55%. She was admiring her work. That seems right. Hunting camp is done. Yeah, like another weird thing about the hunting camp is that you can set a work area for the hunting camp, but like there's only there's only one area to hunt, so it's like, what are you gonna do? Click on the zone that already they're already gonna hunt from anyway? Yeah. I think that looks nice where we put the church. How many more homes do we have than people? We've got... Uh... Oh, we built seven homes. We've got seven people. we got to build some more houses. Otherwise, no one can move in. Let's build some homes. Fritz the Ox Inn, yeah. Do I have early access to the game? I just joined the stream. So the game comes out in early access for everyone on April 26, 2024. And content creators, courtesy of the developer and publisher, which is uh, Slavic Magic and Hooded Horse as the publisher, um, they've given all of us access and told us, hey, knock yourself out. Go have fun in advance. Essentially, the, the publisher is kind of newer not really newer small but not kind of smaller but they're really doing the right things i think hooded horse you got you, i'm i'm going to be completely real with you guys they recently had like a big o steam sale and stuff hooded horse if you look at that them as a publisher and all the games that they're publishing for developers they're picking some really amazing games and um i mean i didn't realize it until maybe like last year or something like that but i looked at hooded horse and i was like wait a minute i have like half these like more than half these games like workers and resources soviet republic manor lords falling frontier against the storm sons of valhalla and probably like 10 others that i don't even know that's on their list um but they've, they've been they've been just making amazing deals with amazing publishers and when uh, manor lord said they had a publisher i was like oh no there it goes and then they were like, yeah, we're teaming up with Hooded Horse. And I'm like, oh, no, I haven't heard of these guys. And then when I was like, wait a minute, Hooded Horse is doing cool stuff. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I was like, wow. All right. Oh, and not to mention, um, there was, oh, there was some other game. I forgot the name. But, uh, yo, uh, Kitsi Kitsune, thank you very much for the uh, five gifted memberships over on Twitch. Thank you very much. Or subs. Thank you very much. <laughs> wow. Congratulations, guys. Yeah, Against the Storm was published by them too and that's a really cool roguelite city builder where ironically it rains all the time and you have to like mitigate rain and stuff oh and, and they're also publishing uh the one i wanted to mention is a game called nova roma if you've ever heard of a game called kingdom kingdoms and castles before it's um the developers of kingdoms and castles are making a sequel called nova roma that's roman era city building and has a lot more to do with uh building with water and stuff like roman aqueducts so that's cool we could go for some big old plots here. Should we go for some big old plots? Ooh, not that big. I think we'll go with a triple. The bigger the plot, too, if you put a farm down, the more food it will produce. So here we're making, like, cabbage and carrots and stuff. And eventually you can feed all your people off of just, like, the farms. And, like, chicken coops and things like that, but... You're still going to want to farm, though, because, of course, you can make uh, ale from farming and 
linen from farming. Always a good idea. Hey, has anybody in the chat recently found out about this game within like the last um, maybe like six months or so? Is anybody waiting for uh, like one in the chat if you just recently found out about Manor Lords within like the last couple months and didn't hear about it before? I know there's a lot of people who've been watching this game for a long time and have a lot of huge hype built up because of that and were able to play the demo. But I'm just curious if anybody recently found the game and uh, hadn't heard about it. You found out today because of my stream? Really? Wow. Okay. You found out yesterday? Amazing. This is the most wishlisted game on Steam, too, so I hope on April 26th when it drops, it'll pr it'll probably have, like, the main banner, you know, top, like, at the top of the Steam store page, it'll probably have a whole Manor Lord's Day on the uh, early access launch, so that's cool. You heard about this game four years ago? Yeah, about the same for me, about, like, 20... 2020-ish, somewhere around there, yeah. I've been putting out videos on this one for a long time. I'm like, guys, this Manor Lord game looks really cool. And everyone's like, yeah, this looks amazing. And I'm like, I don't think it'll play like this. Maybe it'll be more like Austria, but... It's hard to explain how this game works, in a way. It, it plays like a game you've always imagined, and we're so used to games not being that way. <laughs> but it's like... You go, you'll, you'll see footage of this game and it'll be like this, like, Welcome to Manor Lords, one of the coolest, most dank-ass games that has ever been made by a gamer. Wow. And you're like, it'll never look like this. There's never going to be an oxen walking down the street with a construction material about to be delivered. Where puddles are actually being generated on the, on the road. That's never going to happen. Because it's raining? No. Never going to happen. And here we are. No, this game. No, this game has objectives. We're we're playing an objective mode right now. Our goal is to uh, we're settling new lands, and so we're trying to build a town to to level three. But the two main goals in the game are build big, long-lasting settlements and like settle these new lands, or fight against somebody else who's claimed the new lands and kick them out because the king said they're illegitimate. So. Yeah, there's combat, there's objectives. There also is a, a sandbox mode, too, where you can turn off the objectives. But um, for this game mode, they're basically just telling you to build a big city, and then when, when you're done with that, you can continue on. You've only got to build one big city, but when you build other cities in other regions, you could probably help have them help that main region to build. So that's cool. Bum, bum. Bring this here, move that there, on. How does it compare to Austria? Hey, it's similar in a few ways. With the house building and the... Also, Austria was one of the first games that I saw have like a custom plot builder. Where you could customize the layout of the, uh, of like the the backyard or whatever, and then Austria eventually allowed you to start building gardens and stuff there too. So there's there's some similarities. Both great games. Yeah, you can build armies in this game. You can also hire uh, mercenaries, which we'll probably do at some point. But if you're a big fan of Austria, Farthest Frontier, Foundation, it's got some things in common with all those games too. You'll be able to like figure out those parts pretty easily because you'll be like, oh yeah, it's like in that other game. 
but then there's some new things to learn too. But I will have uh, some tutorial series on the channel, so do again make sure you're subscribed for this one. And we'll cover all the things like uh, how do you progress, how do you farm. All your questions on how to play will either be answered by like slowly we'll play this, the game and learn some things together that maybe we haven't seen before. And also as I learn those things I'll put them into videos so that way anybody who uh, hadn't had a chance to see that will definitely be able to watch and you know we'll put out 10 maybe 20 minute videos depending on how complicated things are so yeah we'll cover all the crop rotation and combat and all that it's gonna be exciting very exciting how do you brush the ox oh Well, there's our new mercenaries. We'll go with that one. Tavern name, Two Oxen Tavern. Good one. Good. I only sell the finest wares in all the land. Yeah, it says in the description of the uh, of the vegetables that a uh, it says there at the bottom yields depend on plot size. So if you have a much larger plot for growing vegetables, you'll have a much higher yield. Pretty good. When do you plan on doing a military playthrough? We did this morning. And our video earlier today as well. Our morning stream was a uh, combat one. And our video earlier today was combat. And this one could have combat too if bandits show up. So it all depends on them, I suppose, for this one. I started this one thinking the bandits would be here, but we'll see. If not, it's okay because we'll learn new building techniques and learn more about the building of the game. The most important thing in this game too, by the way, is uh, the approval because that also gives you a lot of morale for your troops. Alright. Now, we're... Uh, Probably going to need to start trading, too. Firewood's a good call early, so let's build a trade depot so we can start making some cash. A trade to pot. Two million wish list on Steam? Wow. Oh, what was that? Camera threw me all the way over there. No, we're fine. We have a surplus of 22 timber. You go trade over there. Hmm. 
We could build a trading post there, but uh, I kind of want to build it near the storehouse, but I also kind of want to move that too. Now nah, we'll build it over here. There we go. Music fits perfect. Yeah. It's an amazing part of this game is the music for sure. Shouldn't the trade post be near a big road? Well, we can make a path over there. I mean, we can we can build a, a road, no problem. I mean, the main road's right here. So we could just build a little road. I just didn't want to build it near the cliff. Do the hunters make wooden traps? Uh, they'll hunt with bow and arrow, but there is a perk for the hunters, a uh, development point you can spend on making traps that will give you passive... As we call here on the channel, PMI, Passive Meat Income. Even Manor Lords, I mean, uh, Farthest Frontier has that. Yeah, when this game launches on Steam on the 26th of uh, April, it'll also be on uh, GOG, but also Game Pass. So just make sure you check there if you have Game Pass. The current early access is only for streamers and content creators. Otherwise, 26th of April. Well, Jacob, this is the first message that I'm reading of yours because over on Twitch we've got about 130 people and here we've got about 1,200. And I'm trying to focus on the game and read other people. If you if you really absolutely critically need me to read something, you could maybe tag me in the chat and maybe I'll see it. Or you could also drop a super chat, which if you're going to support that way, I'll absolutely positively read that and try to give you an answer. But as there's thousands of people watching and excited for this game, I don't always get to everybody, and that's kind of how it is, but I, I appreciate everybody's patience and understanding with that. But I think it's been two or three times now in the chat where people have wanted me to directly interact with them, and they've been spamming the chat, and then they get mad when they don't. So I'm here for everybody, and I'm here for Manor Lords, not just the individual person. And I appreciate all you being here as individuals, but we're also here as a, a group trying to enjoy and learn about this game. I don't know everything. I have a lot to learn too. But I appreciate everybody's time. So thank you. Oh, this building again. I, th I think this is a glitch. What happens here is that a ox will deliver a log to the saw pit because that's where the logs can go to be processed into planks. And then the game will warn you saying, hey, the, the generic storage is full, but it's not full. It's the log storage that's full. But the log storage 
needs a um The log storage is like protected, like it's covered. Well actually the logs go here, but I think there's a the log is sitting right there under the covered roof, so I don't think it'll ever deteriorate. Until you can play this, RimWorld's new DLC is really fun too. Oh, I'm glad you mentioned that, by the way. This publisher, going back to Hooded Horse again, when we covered that Triple I event a couple of days ago, there's another RimWorld-like game that's RimWorld, but also Manor Lords, kind of. It's called um, Norland, I think it is. And if you love RimWorld, it's medieval RimWorld, but like has a few more things to it that make it really interesting. And uh, I think we showcased it on the channel too, but that game's wild, man. Norland is a really very interesting experience. They did a lot of cool... You know all the crazy stuff you could do in RimWorld. Just imagine that like on the level of medieval stuff, you know? Hi, Miss Phoenix. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support. I'm glad you think so. Thank you, chat, for being here all the time. Thank you. Chat has to put up with me, and I appreciate that. Thank you. But I also have to put up with chat and their constant bear spam. So it's a... It's a struggle. <laughs> but we managed to get through. The puddles? I know. Yeah, the, the puddles that just end up in the roadway. Or at the marketplace, too, I think. Yeah. Oh, look, you can even see the... Are those... Oh, they look wet. The uh, the tarps of the marketplace. Oh, wow. Oh, man. You know what would have made this game of the century? Is if there was a little bit of water in the top of the stall. Like, if, if this just kind of accumulated a little bit of water... Game of the century. Watch. Greg will probably add that later today. <laughs> the game of the century update. Ah. Uh. Yo, know, David Lewis, thank you. Wow, 36 months, dude. Congratulations. You're approaching the uh, the uh, other tier. Oh, my goodness. The, uh, the gold back at 42, 48. I always forget what it is. Thank you, dude. And Lipigor, thank you very much for the tier one sub on Twitch. Thank you very much. Lil Liljager. Wow, and David with the five gifted memberships for chat, too. Chat's crazy, man. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you very much. Is our trade depot done yet? Okay, we're working on the trade depot. Then we're going to start shipping things out and trying to make some money. Okay, I'm going to try to tell the logging camp to only log in certain areas now. Although, I really wish this tool were different. Oh, you can't actually adjust the size. You know, I prob you know what? I probably put this in my tutorial video and forgot about it. But again, I still wish instead of adjusting the size or whatever, I, ju I just wish I could paint the trees, that's all. But alright. Stop complaining. I put out tutorial... I, I re-uploaded tutorial videos on this one, probably forgot all about that. I didn't see that part. But honestly, that's probably the only one you want to do. How much more content yet to come? Till I get bored of Manor Lords, so, you know. When I unfortunately have to leave for Japan on May 1st. So, sorry guys, I can only give you two two weeks plus X amount of days of content. <laughs> for 10 hours a day plus. It's a pleasure. This game's awesome. What's up, Baja? And King Ardith. Dropping a tier one sub. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I can only play for like two weeks straight and then I gotta go. You know, honestly, I'm really glad because I, I was going with my friends on a big... Well, we've been to Japan a few times before, but we hadn't been able to go for like four years because of COVID and other timing things. And now finally we get to go. And it's in May 
And when I heard the uh, release day for Manor Lords was I'll go deaf from all that hammering. was from May 1st, uh, or sorry, uh, April 26th, I was like, well, that's not much time to play, so I'll try to get in as much as I can. So the fact that we got access early is great, because I get to play a bunch and then get to go hang out. So it's really cool. Because it's really important to me to make content for you guys. Now, I don't like that word, creating content. When I say, like, you know, we're farming content or creating content, that's gross. Like, we're playing games. We're hanging out. Like, creating content. This is not a factory. Gus, thank you very much for the 32 months. Good to see you back. You know, oh, we're crafting curated experiences for viewers to, uh, the content for them to enjoy and consume. Like... YouTube meeting, YouTube corporate meetings, that's probably what they're having. The, the terminology that they utilize when they have their meetings is probably gross. Like, we're, look, we're all just gamers enjoying games, playing games, and talking about games. We're not consumers looking to purchase a product. Except some of you probably are looking to buy this game, but. Anyway. Aaron, 51 months. Love you, Raptor. Third-person view is amazing. You mean this view? Oh, yeah. Look at look at them crops. Look at this. The carrots! Or are those beets? Also, kabaj. Man, if we get beets, we can make borched. Bur bur burched. Burr, burr, something. John Gotcha, thank you very much for the tier one sub over on Twitch. Appreciate that. And Savu, welcome back as a Raptor Plus member. Lovely to see you here. Lovely to see you. All right, we got 48 firewood. We're going into our first winter, everybody. We're about to uh, have to survive our first winter. Disconnected from major trade routes. Is the building... Wait, let me read what it says. Uh, connect the building to the King's Road, otherwise it won't attract... Okay, never mind. And that's just closed, so it must have found a path. So this road here, you can never delete this, like the main highway. Oh, there's the... Is that the trader? That's gotta be the trader. He's carrying a whole bunch of... Oh, yeah. Oh, look, he's got a walking stick. Look at that. Chat, I gotta go... I wanna do this. I wanna go to a Renaissance Festival as the, mini the uh, Manor Lord. I gotta get a costume. I gotta get somebody to make me a cape, a hat, a little, uh, was that a co coin purse or whatever? Well, I don't know about the tights though. Oof. Uh, we'll see. Can I just be a manor lord who wears uh, Levi's? I'm gonna make a new game called Manor Levi's Lord. Violate several copyrights, but it has to be made. All right, the trader's on the way, but we got nothing to trade yet. Uh, but we could try to put firewood in there to start with. It's pretty much all we got. There it is. All right, if we have more than 50, I'll start exporting that. I want to make sure we got a lot, a lot of extras just in case. So from here on out, all firewood will be exported. But I got to hire somebody there, but we'll do that later. We got to get more people in the town. So how many houses do we have now? We have ten with seven. Let's build some more houses. So yeah, your trade post doesn't have to be on the highway, it's just got to be connected to it. Oh! And Reggie, thank you very much for uh, claiming a gift sub from John again. Oh wait, the Oh, level one complete. I see it popped up. I got you. A blue eye next to his name. Any, anybody in our chat who has an eye next to their name, they're a member. And so they get access to uh, lovely emotes. Chat loves to spam an emote of a particular furry mammal uh, to harass me. And that's totally okay. It doesn't bother me at all. No. But, um, yeah, tons of great emotes if you become a member. And, uh... It directly supports the channel, too. So if you'd like to, uh, click that big O join button at the bottom of the chat, and you can become a member, or type exclamation point gift, and someone in the chat might drop a gift of membership, too. Our chat's pretty cool. What the hell? 
Wait, I didn't realize that. Our Doc Brown. Oh, yeah, Doc Brown Bear. Rhodes? Rhodes? Well, we're going, we don't need Rhodes. I totally forgot that was a bear themed emote. Eh, see, I see bears everywhere I go now, so I don't even notice it, you know what I mean? Half pint, 32 months. Thank you very much, dude. Yeah, and bears are over here in the in the Twitch chat too. Yeah. Actually, let's make a housing network here. I think making the smaller plots really looks nice. I mean, the, the, the bigger plots, but with the smaller number. I mean, that looks great. I feel like i got to change this around a little bit. What if we put one here? Oh, that's not even enough for the... Oh, uh, listen to this song. Hell's out of fire. They were ringing the church bell like there was an emergency. I thought something was on fire. Alright, we'll build a plot there. And by the way, a lot of these houses are coming with extra... We can um, get a lot of these come to have, like, on, extra on. housing. So we can house even more people there. In... It, you know, it's a higher density, basically. So you don't have to build huge villages. You can build, like, better villages? Yeah. Wow, Nicholson, thank you very much for the five tier one subs as well. Insanity, chat. Insanity. Twitch chat blowing it up. Thank you very much. 210 subscribers on Twitch. Thank you, guys. I'm glad you're enjoying things. At least I think so. Some of you are here, I think, just to scout out for the bears. I know who you are. Chris P. Bacon. That's right. Called out. Oh, this is heavier than it looks. Game is beautiful, I know. It's pretty. Yeah, I, I love that too, uh, that the housing plots have gardens and chicken options. And then there's like, there's goats, so you can have uh, hides. There's, uh, you, you, I think you can make uh, pottery in the backyard or have somebody do blacksmithing. So you don't have to have like a big, you don't have to build a big scale building. Someone just like builds a shed in their backyard and is just like, all right, brother, I'm going to start making some tools. It's like, all right, you <laughs> get to it, bro. And you just, somebody just starts making some tools at their house, and sweet. Alright, hopefully we make some cash soon. We'll get somebody working here, finally. And they're going to go and get those uh, materials from the firewood cutter, and then start putting it there. So what do we got for firewood? 46? Okay. So we'll get another person working at the woodcutter's lodge. One will be for us, and then two people can work on exports. If they're scouting for the bears, they are cub scouts. Damn, that was uh, well done. Uh, when I first hear, I thought of a spinoff of Mountain Blade Banner Lords. Yeah, a little. It's got a little bit of Banner Lords to it, like the concept of like you know conquering, like uniting all the land under one banner. And honestly, the combat, if you look at some of the videos, it, it does look like Banner Lords a little bit. It plays like an RTS, but, you know, all the trailers that we see nowadays, it looks like a trailer for an, another game. Which is why people couldn't believe it. People are like, this is a city builder that looks amazing, and a medieval battle game that looks amazing. I was saying earlier, though, chat, that it would be really cool to actually have the combat section as kind of its own game mode, too. Like, I hope an added feature later on is, like, a skirmish mode where you can... I mean, imagine, you know, imagine going somewhere, like, over here and having a big old medieval battle. Like, I don't know, 
somewhere over here. And having, like, you know, 200 troops versus 200 troops. And then, you know, you use arch... Like, you... you uh, rock, paper, scissor things. Like, okay, what's it like with 50 crossbowmen versus 50 knights? Well, the 50 knights are probably going to win. Are they? I mean, who knows, you know? Like, it depends on how, you know, the armor system and stuff looks in the game. Because when we look also at the army builder for this game, you can kind of see some of these units have, uh, like, different attacks. But one time I've noticed, like, a bunch of, like, bandits that had, like, attack two... But also, I've noticed that, like, light ranged, you know, some of the attack is, like, either one or two. But then there's, like, armor. So, like, the archers have armor six. The light mercenary archers have armor three. So, how like, how big is a, of that is a difference in battle? But I'd like to really experiment with that to see what that means. Like, how, how, how differently that works. Wow, Reggie Ray dropping another 10 bomb on the Twitch channel, dude. Wow. Thank you very much. That's amazing. And Kula with the two saying, can I borrow $2? <sighs> Bro, you already took my last $2 to give me $2. Thanks for the support, man. Yeah, th there's only one guy. There's a few people involved with making this game. Like, he didn't make all the music. Like, you know, obviously some things are not one person, but yes. Technically, this is this game is made by one person, but the... The music, the voice acting are all different people. And they deserve credit, too. Because they did a great job. The voice actors in this game are really neat. They're very, um... It sounds very RTS-y, but it's not like that typical, like, war... You know, like in uh, Warcraft, when it's like, uh, you know, work, work. You know, that kind of stuff. Job's done. You know, it's not that. It's it's like this. Like, let's listen to what they have to say. Let's let's go to our corner correspondent in the field, Manor Lord, who's... Who's talking to local merchants about their wares, sir? Tell me all about your finer wares, sir. Where are they? Where are the wares? Right over here. All right. What what do you got? Berries? Yeah, I see you. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. You got bread, berries, and what's hanging out here, sir? Is this veal, venison? What do you got? Cheated him? Never. Perhaps he simply does not know how to cook properly. <laughs> Lol. So there you go. It's organic. Yeah, very much so. Even though they're written and curated and whatnot. It's good lines. You'd love to voice act for this guy if he needs more? No, I mean, reach out. I mean, you never know. You're more than welcome to reach out on the Discord. I wouldn't be surprised if, if they allow that. Just want fans of the game to say things like, Roy, you're... Like, I'd probably just do a Jason Statham uh, on, present uh, impersonation. You know, be like... Just end everything with, do you know what I mean? That's all you gotta do. Be like, oh, this well water's the right sight, water, you know what I mean? And there you go. Perfect. Next line. Come on, Come on. Like, what, what do you need next? <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Don't forget to brace the frame of the door. Yeah, I don't know what the price of this game will be, but just add it to your wish list on Steam. Otherwise, it'll be free on Game Pass. Like, if you're, if you're already getting Game Pass, it'll be on there on the 26th. Ah, Coolin' with the tree fitty. Thank you very much, Coolin'. Is that still the Christmas tree? Still the Christmas tree emote? Sorry, I've been busy playing Manor Lords. I haven't had time to change it. I think we should do another uh, vegetable plot here because we got a big old plot. And maybe we'll do a chicken coop here on these smaller ones. Oh, look at that tree. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, and they got the ladder set up. Oh, my God. Look at this. Hold on. Emer emergency. Where is this house? Check that doorway's width so that a oh, there it is. Wow. I need to get over to that house. Look at this. Just imagine if this were an apple tree. You actually can make apple orchards in this game, too, in people's backyards. So, like, people will literally... The, the game says that you can plant apple trees, and then it'll take three years for the tree to grow. And then, of course, every September, uh, the tree will be... Uh, you know, you can harvest all the apples and stuff. And then you can use it as a food, and then I think later you can make cider out of it? Question mark? I'm not sure exactly, but... 
Forget about it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't know when this game will be done. It, the developer has been developing this for seven years, so I wouldn't be surprised if 1.0 is another five, five years away. I don't know. Depends on how what he feels like doing. This seems like a, uh, what, what do they call that? A magnus opus? Like a life work masterpiece. Like, if this dude was making a painting, this would be the Mona Lisa. Like, this will probably be the most recognizable thing that... And I, I hope this isn't the case, but, I mean, this is an amazing game, and this is an amazing thing that he's done, and I hope he goes on to make bigger and better things like that, too. Nick, thank you very much for the five gifted memberships over on YouTube. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you. And Twitch chat with the level four hype train. Thank you, Twitch chat. All right. Thank you. You guys did it. That's the first time we hit level four. Damn. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Choo choo. All right. So what are we doing next? We're building some more houses so we can get more people in. We're approaching winter. It's now October. So it's right around the corner. We made plenty of firewood. And we're going to build a road. Meow. Chat roads. Did this guy just say roads? We're building roads? Just killing it today, Raptor? No, that's you guys. You guys are killing it. I'm just... I'm just doing what I always do. Just being a goofy goober. Okay, we're getting a little grid irony, but actually, even though I can't, no, actually not really a curved road here, and that no, this looks good. Yeah, it looks nice. I think that's the other thing that really impresses people here is the customization, not only of the armies and stuff, but also the, uh, the the buildings and making like the custom plots that, you know, even though this is relatively square, I mean, this is something I think we all wish we could get in like city skylines or something is building lots that are not square or rectangle, that kind of thing. Is the combat Age of Empires or Total War? It's much more Total War. Yeah, very much so. Leroy Jenkins. Uh, let's see. Have we made any cash yet? Not yet. I wonder if it shows when the trader's coming in. Trading horse, horse says order a new... Trading post says order a new horse. The horse must be used for trades then. Maybe we can actually send out trades and not just wait for them to come to us. That'd be really cool. Because the horse is a horse, of course, of course. We'll need much more. Much more money. Let's also export berries too. We've got a huge amount of berries in our town, and it's a renewable source. So let's trade. And they trade for three. Let's try to keep 50 in surplus. Cool. Oh, that looks great. I'm happy with that. We're cutting down that forest now. Uh, 
bum, 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 bum. Yeah, technology will be, um, well, there are upgrades. There's, there is technology, I guess. Like, uh, heavy plow and fertilization, irrigation, but it's not like we're going to go from the Middle Ages to, like, the Space Age. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't rock, uh, launching a rocket today. We ain't going to the moon. Oh, that's great to see the approval at 67%. Gotta smooth that beam over there. Pretty. Hmm. We got twelve homes now. More on the way. Will this be on console? Ooh, I think very unlikely. The only chance for it being on console would be like at the 1.0 launch. And I see that being years away. I, I think unlikely. But I wouldn't be surprised if uh, suddenly it just came out on console. Don't know what I'm going to put here. We could always build a Forester building and then I, I think we might be able to move it. I'm not sure. Yeah, the, the rows next to buildings and stuff will just kind of latch on. I mean, it, Chad, it just works. All of this just works. That's right, Todd. All of this just works. All of this just works. It just works. Chat, we're going to have to celebrate when we make our first dollar. We're very close to making our first uh, cash in the game. We're very close. I can feel it. Money's on the way. Oh, 25 timber? All right, that's enough. Let's set this work area too. There we go. I feel like uh, the work area thing could be a little better laid out because, like, if we if we click on the woodcutter's lodge, it doesn't show. I feel like there should be an overlay for uh, work areas, so that way you know. Uh, where your work area is and where other work areas are. Yeah, we're playing a, a different scenario now. In the mornings, we'll be playing with one, and in the evenings, we'll be playing with another. I'm hoping that this one also has combat, because there is a chance of uh, 
bandits and stuff showing up. Although this might be set to fully peaceful. I was hoping not to, but... Uh, regardless, what we could do is for the next few days, we can kind of learn how to play the game and uh, and be better at it, and then start turning up the heat and be uh, a little bit more um, a little bit more challenged and see more action and combat. It's all good. Everything will take time for everyone to learn. Yeah, we made three whole dollars. <laughs> uh, I thought it'd be tree fitty, but we only made three. That's all that guy bought. How much were we selling? Wait, there was twenty berries in there. Oh, I guess that guy wasn't buying berries. Wait, we have eighty-eight berries. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. Wow, look at that. Market food variety plus seven. Church level plus seven. Got our approval rating at damn near 75%. How many ops does this have on the... What? Opponents? Well, it depends on if bandits show up. We'll see. Thank you, Tricky. Glad you're enjoying Manor Lords. The hype is real. There's a lot of hype. It's a lot of hype and excitement behind this. Yeah, a lot of hype and excitement. So much so that it terrifies me. I'm scared. Yes, me too. I too am scared. Well, I don't think we could put anything here. Plot too small, okay. Too small for the tavern, too. Although we could put the tavern here ish. Bell sound effect sounded like it was coming from there. We're also going to build a fortified uh, manor up here on this cliff. That's going to be our end goal, is to try to build up there. family moved in. Yeah, let's get another person making firewood.
Another family joins up. Got 30 berries in there. Uh, maybe we'll turn up the forager, although got an end for that for the year. Now we'll add another hunter. Yeah. We'll save up our money for more vegetable. Wow, what a great looking village. Thank you. Yeah, I've started over to learn a little bit more. And uh, kind of de-rust on all the beautiful buildings that we built. Do we have a farm built? Not yet. We'll probably do a farm next year. And we'll be doing farming probably over here somewhere. This big o open area. Although I'd like building farms kind of on a slope. We might do it here. Build the farmhouse here and then build like a thing there. I think somebody raided the channel, but I can't tell. On YouTube. Oh, Mon did? Okay. I can tell when somebody raids because it'll mess with my, like, my poll. I'm running a poll on YouTube. And, like, it'll... Extend the pole and then shrink the pole again. <laughs> so yeah, only through YouTube's glitches can I like read the matrix. Was it Mon? Mon rated? Thank you, Mon. Hello. Hi. Oh yeah, no pigs in the game. Yeah, not at the moment. No pigs. All right, they're just telling us that we can't build this little shrine here without somebody on a sign, but I'm totally fine with that. Chat, in the first year, we've almost doubled our population. Actually, not even a whole year. Like, within nine months. Because we start in uh, March. Yeah. Hi, Mon. Good to see you. Welcome back to the channel. Bum, 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 bum. What about cows? Yeah, I haven't seen cows either. No milk in the game. No cheese. But we all know what that means, don't we? No milk, no cheese. 10,000 canceled pre-orders. I'm kidding. Yeah, there's birds that fly over, yeah. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god, look at this. Chat, look, this is like the beginning of a movie. Look at this. And we don't have, like, much built yet. Imagine when we got, like, a blacksmith going and a farm going and a, a windmill up on the hill. And that's going to look crazy. One lord in a world. One lord, one village. This summer, Gr Sir Greg is Manor Lords. Critics have been raving. Critics are raving. Two big thumbs up. This is heavier than it looks. People are crying and shaking for Manor Lords. Have I found a use for horses yet? Well, it seems to have something to do with the trade post. But I'm not sure because there's not a description for it. However, wait a minute. Ooh, the game even produces slag? Oh. Uh, let's see, there's lambs. Anything for horses? No, just horses, generic storage. I don't know. 
Horses increase movement of goods on stacks of 50. Oh, okay. And they send them to the trader. Gotcha. That's what I was assuming, because the you could buy a horse here. But, uh, whoa, we just got 30 bucks. All right, we're rich now. What were we going to buy? I think we should buy another... Should we buy a chicken coop and start getting eggs? I think that's exactly what we should do. Well, that's a big plot there. I should probably use that for vegetables. And I don't want to mess with the ones with trees. We'll do this one. I'm going to do that because that'll add another food type and that'll further increase happiness. If we keep increasing happiness with different varieties of food types, everything will get done faster. Buy a place in, hey, look, in this era, 32 silver, you think that's going to buy a PlayStation? <sighs> An excellent idea indeed. Buy a penthouse on the cliffside, baby. I'm putting up a big old penthouse. I'm putting a wall around it. It's a gated community to, uh, you know, protect everyone else. Just to, you know, keep their best interest in mind. Oh, every village is Raptoria. However, when I get to different regions, I'm going to have to start naming them other things. But you'll know if we're, if we're playing a different playthrough, if our guy in the upper right corner looks different. So if it looks like young PewDiePie with a, a shield, that is uh, yellow, blue, and red, then you know what's up. The other one's uh, bending with, binging with Babish for the uh, military campaign. I think what we'll do is start a new series with him called Beheading Brigands with Babish. And we'll just, you know, put their head on a stake. I think it'll go well. It'll be more popular than the hot ones. I hear a lot of uh, business going on right now. Seventy-five firewood. Can't wait for this game. I know. It's a good one. It's amazing. It'll be cool to balance two villages because we'll see two genuinely different playthroughs. And our playthrough of one will help the other. It's going to be awesome. And we're playing this from early access from the developers. They've gonna given us an early key. Did I set the camera position for the time lapse? Wait, what? Yeah, 
Yeah, you can you can build multiple villages that are dependent on each other. Seasonal resources. Some resources disappear when it's getting cold and they reappear in the spring. Alright, we're entering winter. Goodbye to our uh, berries. Very sad to see them go. Oh. Actually, that person was working on selling berries. That's fine. And look at that. We've got ten people living in the city. Ten families. Control shift number to set the camera position. Shift number to go to the camera. Build during the pause mode. Return to the camera and record. Take screenshots. Oh, really? If I have to spend another winter in Albert's barn, I'll I didn't know that's how that worked. Oh, here comes the winter song. Let's see if we can survive our first winter. Twenty-two bucks. They'll grow vegetables next year. Okay, so three vegetable farms, two chicken coops. I think that's a good start. Do you think you're ready for winter? I'm. I think I am. Gotta love the special treatment streamers get. Meanwhile, people who will actually spend money on this get shafted and ignored. Well, I don't think you'll get ignored because the developer has done a great job of communicating with everybody by posting polls and such on Twitter. In fact, if you go to uh, Manor Lords on Twitter, there's polls and pictures and like feedback and data and, and literally screenshots of the developer making changes in like C++ and whatnot. And additionally, I think the alternative to... There, there's two options. Number one, this is likely the most wishlisted game on Steam, not just only because of its quality, but because everybody who's been making YouTube videos on it for free without compensation from the developer have just been doing so by basically doing it for like ad dollars and such through YouTube and not being compensated by the developer. Now, Hooded Horse and uh, Slavic Magic could get together a ton of money and try to pay streamers to play this and that would be you know a huge endeavor to pay everyone to do that which is a thing that they do to pay for time and priority over other games but the alternative to that was to give a bunch of uh, streamers and other content creators access as well so I know that you might be a little frustrated and wanting to play too but I think um, Regardless, I would have purchased this game, and I think lots of people want to buy this game as well. So no matter what happened, I would I would still be buying this game. And I mean, I don't have to be here. I can shut the stream off. They're not paying me a dime, and that's not why I play games. I play games because they're fun, and that's why I just did a six-hour stream for this game. Then I put up a video, and I want to play it some more. And that's just the way it is. But I know everybody wants to play. Like I feel bad for you guys that you can't play too. I'm I'm excited for you all to to see the game and see what you come up with and see screenshots in our Discord and whatnot. But but uh, Manor Lords has to advertise. That guy put in seven years of his life into this game, and I think he wants to see it a success. So yeah. 
Uh, Shifty, I don't know why you're having an attitude all of a sudden in the chat like that with the dot, dot, dots and everything else. I mean, if you don't want to have a adult conversation and want to fill your huggies live in front of thousands of people, that's fine. But remember to the three rules that you adhered to down below in the description, which I'm sure you didn't read, by the way, um, just to be a, a normal, chill, and relaxed person. Man, I know you want to play this game, but, you know, trying to insult me and failing horribly and then trying to lash out at chat and everybody else probably ain't the way to go. So, you got a couple options. You can leave gracefully. You can try to do your one last uh, one-liner, which will fall flat, and I'll ban your ass. Or, you can also just STF you. Thank you. Ain't my first rodeo, Chief. I deal with thousands of people like you a day. Just relax. Just play a game. Just play a game. Love you. I'd buy that for a dollar. There will be an update before we get it on the 26th, like day-night cycle, etc. Uh, there is a day-night cycle already in the game. If you go to the gameplay options, it's a cosmetic day and night cycle. We can take a look at it. But you're right. That's another good thing, too, is that because everybody gets to uh, play this ahead of time, streamer-wise and content creator-wise, we might... A lot of people who create content are probably rushing towards the end game, to the on seen stuff that we really haven't seen in trailers and whatnot so you know there's people rushing to the combat rushing to uh the the military stuff and might be finding things that you know if you think about it they probably got well there's alpha testers who are in our chat right now and they probably there's people probably internally in the publisher who might be testing things but you know there's been alpha streamers who probably have signed ndas in order to you know agree not to share any anything about the game with anybody other than the developers so but even with those people now that there's like hundreds and hundreds of people playing this game now it'll prepare it for when there's tens of thousands or millions of people playing it so the good thing is you know if i find some things that aren't quite right like i find the manor building system to be kind of annoying and whatnot but you know all that feedback first of all this game ain't finished so when it is released in early access the developer can first take the biggest problems and issues with it and start fixing those and then prioritize things that are crashes things that make it unplayable things that really frustrate players will be addressed first and then we start moving on to the features and then we start moving on to co uh, cosmetic stuff you know so what do you mean military is amazing in manor lords i mean maybe we'll have to see i haven't played it yet But it's really cool. Like, I mean, you guys remember, I tell this story often, um, not often, but every once in a while, this will be the story that I tell, which is when we were playing a game called Gas Station Simulator many years before it, as it was releasing, like a few years ago, uh, the game had a demo, but the developers gave me, like, the only copy in the world, because they liked the videos, to just keep playing it, I guess according to them and we we went and played shift the game to shift DF out of here and then as we were playing the game um, I found some like game breaking bugs that were causing gas station simulator to crash it was with the AI with some of the workers in the gas station you guys might remember this we, we played the game live and the developers were in the live chat and they were asking for you know as the game was crashing they're like can you send your save file can you send it over we're trying to recreate this uh, this crash and so it was like a week or a few days before the game came out. And we found out one of the employees was causing the game to crash because they were, I don't know, there was a bug with them. They were supposed to go home at the end of their shift and they wouldn't or something or they were trying to rehire infinitely or some, some weird thing was happening. Anyway, we sent them the save file and we helped to make a better game for everybody at launch. And it was nice. And as a thank you for that, 
I think the developers if you if you go to gas station if you own gas station simulator right now go to gas station simulator go to the credits and in the credits is me and all of you guys it says Raptor and Chad because you guys were also trying to help to resolve this issue with them some people were throwing out some suggestions about what file it could be some people know programming and because of that they put in Raptor heads in the game on top of the aliens that they were just they were just planning on having aliens but they put my head on the game and also they listed Raptor and chat and that was amazing so it was cool the coolest thing yeah the dinosaur heads and stuff are cool but it reminds me the one thing that, that is right there was a problem is Raptor smile <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you very much but uh, yeah it, it was really cool to help make something better for everyone else and that is whenever I whenever I see those Raptor heads I think about chat in the credits and then it reminds me they didn't do that just because they thought we were cool. We did that because we identified a game-breaking issue that was days before the game was releasing, and it helped to make a better game. And they didn't have to panic release a fix or something like that. Of course, there was probably other bugs and issues, and I helped with one of many things, but that was a cool moment, man. I love that. I love that a lot. Uh, Raptor streamers were having trouble today keeping the sheep in their grazing enclosure. Have you tried messing with them with that today? Uh, I have not. I built in my videos. I built the sheep enclosure, but I haven't yet gotten any sheep. So I could say I built it, but I didn't. I'm like step up, like steps away from buying a sheep. So yes and no. That's a good question, though. Also, um, the, because content creators were making videos. The developer also found that there was some sort of issue with the church. And when you upgrade the church to tier two, and I think if you have a grave digger, they will, uh, they'll, there's some sort, there was some sort of glitch, or maybe still is, with, uh, the guy infinitely taking stone when he shouldn't be. So you have to, like, turn it off or something like that. So just think about it this way you guys have to wait two weeks, but you have to wait two weeks for a better game than what we got. Not that it's a bad game. It's just going to only be better. And that's cool. Game is uh, already awesome. Imagine the mods. Oh, yeah. Hundreds of items you can make. Entertainment buildings. Possibilities are endless. Exactly. I'd love to see a Japan mod for this. To make it like feudal Japan would be outstanding. Yo, JD, thank you very much for the five, dude. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much for that. If you could hang out, it's fine. Just, just relax, okay? Just relax. It's just a game. And Christopher with the hundo. Uh, just one thing that is right. It's wrapped his smile. <laughs> Thank you. Smiley face. Thank you, guys. Sorry if I missed anybody on my old man rant. But uh, I'm very passionate about when there's problems with something, helping to fix it. And then, uh, you know, try, just trying to do the right thing. That's all. Have you guys ever heard this before? Hold on, I, w I wonder if chat's ever heard this before. This is my mentality now, now that I'm old. <laughs> God. <laughs> now that I'm old, this is my, uh... Uh... This, this is my premise on life, okay? Just, just listen to this. That's all. Just listen to this.
And so there you go. So I always try to bring my cart back. You know what I mean? I've been doing that a long time. Even when I go to the grocery store and there's other random carts sitting there, I'll go grab somebody else's cart and I'll put it in that corral. Also, use your damn blinker. There's no reason not to use it. You bought the damn car. Drive it correctly. Uh, very random. Eh, kinda. But it's funny. <laughs> like me. You always take your cart home. <laughs> you bring the cart home with you, you put it in the back of the SUV. Smelt them down. <laughs> Preach, brother? Yeah, amen. Hey, chat, look at this. We got 143 bucks. We're making some damn money now. Alright. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with this cash, though. Should we go to Wendy's? Everybody want... What do you guys want? Sea salt fries? Some spicy nugs? <laughs> no, chat wants dino nuggets. That's what it is. Chat wants some dino nugs. Cooling Gamers, thanks for the five, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you. As a motorcyclist, please use your blinkers. Dude, I do that like th two, two, three seconds before the lane change, exiting. I mean, there's no reason not to use the damn thing. When I went to Europe, and I kept seeing people using their indicators and waiting seconds, and like the left lane is only a passing lane, I br burst into tears. <laughs> like this. I burst into tears. You want one spicy nug, I see. Alright, we got a lot more people in the city. Oh, and it's, it's almost, it's March! Alright, we survived our first damn winter. Let's go! We did it, chat. Let's hire two more forgers, because we got a lot of berries out there. Let's get ourselves another person hunting. Where's that hunter's tent? Oh, okay, we got two of those. Raptor's hard work blessed us with a sneak peek. Thank you, sir. Underscore rap love. Thank you, Coolin. And Christopher, thank you very much for your support as well. Damn. Do not drive in Boston, lol. No one uses their blinker. Yeah, I saw that. When I went to Boston, a whole different world. I think there's actually like an opposite law where if, if you use your blinker, you go to like Thunderdome. They don't have jails in Boston. Everything's just Thunderdome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of places in Europe make you put the coin in, yeah. You're still waiting for the day-night cycle? Oh, I think it's here. It's just hard to tell because it was so it was so bright from all the snow. It's nighttime. Look how pretty it is. Wow, and there's snow still on the houses? Cool. And each house is kind of randomly getting different different amounts of snow. Use your sword. Uh you can't really you can't jump. All you can do is walk or run. That's pretty much it. But it makes me hope that in the future we'll be able to do something where we can actually like interact with stuff. What's the cinematic camera? It's like the HUD, but it just removes the... Uh, it's like this mode, but it just removes the, the HUD. Yeah. So you can like dr drone camera your way across the village. Oh boy. Vlad, thank you very much for the five as well, dude. Hey, chat, let me ask you this. Um, ones in the chat, if you would play with the day night cycle on, or two in the chat if you just want it day all the time. Ones for Life the cycle. Is like a game. Two and for on. Age is the ultimate level. So level up, <laughs> embrace the wrinkles, and show those youngsters how it's done. The wrinkles. I got I got a lot of a lot of grays now, but it's cool. I got no problem with that. I ain't hiding that. One for the day night cycle, two for off. 
Or wait, or what did I say? Uh, I don't remember my order. Whatever. <laughs> the day-night cycle is pretty, though. At least you can see. I was I was kind of worried that it would be way too dark, but for a second, chat didn't even know it was on because of the snow. So pretty. They need to allow a third-person building mode. Ooh, Robert, that's a good idea. Then it would be like Bell Ride at that point. You could go into third person and then just basically open up a menu, select like login camp, and then put it right here. That would be amazing. Yeah, I wonder what the features are that are planned for this third person mode. But man, imagine if, imagine in like one or two years if it suddenly became like Bell Right. That would be cool. One for on and two for off. Oh, thank you. I, thank you, uh, Leonard. Thank you very much. <laughs> I forgot. One, because it's not is super like dark. A box good. Of chocolates. Never know what you will get inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're getting a lot of people moving in. All right, let's go back for logging. What do we got for logs? Twenty-one timber. Actually, I don't think we need that as much. All right, actually, now it's the start of year two. We should probably start with farming. Let's build our farm and get people working in it. All right, everybody, we're starting the farm. Let's go. Big moment. So we got not too good for fertility for flax. Barley's okay up there. But it looks mostly like rye is great. Great fertility for rye. And pretty good fertility for emmer. So... But yeah, rye is good. We'll be able to make a lot of... A lot of bread. We'll put that up here. And we'll probably build a windmill up here, too. Nice. Okay, let's make sure we build this first. Actually, the more people we leave unemployed, the faster construction will go. The P symbols? Uh, I think that stands for... Wait, P. I thought it stood for PH, but I don't see a... I don't know. Yeah, they did a fantastic job with the music, Mom. You are correct. P equals pizza. Oh, I see. Well, look at the windmill efficiency up here. 100% because it's out in the middle of a, a field, basically. I think you lose efficiency when you get closer to trees and when you get lower. Like if we try to build it down here. No, it's even high up there. Maybe some regions have different wind. Let's build our windmill. Oh, more money coming in. I guess we'll just build it next to the farm. You want them to add water wheels? That'd be really cool.
All right, two new things to build. Whoa, we have so much firewood. We got to bring so much firewood over here. Now we're certainly making a lot of uh, firewood. Maybe we should think about also making a uh, forester soon. P equals perfect village. <laughs> gotcha. Raptor leading me to great games for a few hours now. Cheers, dude. Thank you for watching, Aaron. Glad you're enjoying great games here on the channel. All right, so we're going to build our farm, and then we've got to build a road over to the manor. Got to build manor road, roads. Thank you, Reggie, for the support. Thank you. Good road to get up there. <laughs> roads? Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Borat lives in the next town over. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, third-person build mode would be kind of cool with the ability to help and do other things. would be neat. Or if you could get a horse and then ride around. Imagine going into full immersion mode where you ride across your whole map. That'd be cool. Yeah, we could ride all the way to a Wendy's. It'd be awesome. Dude, the village is looking so good, man. The rain looks very dreary, though. It's that way in March, but... Uh, man, did we build a good village. All right, you know, we could still lay out the, the uh, new building. We haven't built this before, actually. This is new for me. We got something fresh and new here. The uh, Forester's Hut. It does what you'd imagine. It... Uh, Brings down Jabba to talk to the trees of the forest. The village doesn't have Wi-Fi, though. Yeah, you're right. we got to get up somewhere high to build the Wi-Fi tower, which we'll probably put up here. That's kind of weird. What is this? You know what I think this might be? Perhaps the game trying to create, like, animal trails? Like deer trails and stuff? Except uh, these deer didn't make it too far. Or it's trying to recreate, like, maybe human... Like paths that are not on the... Like a common route for people, but not on the main road. But this looks like what animals would do, right? It's a good way to track deer like this. Although you'd think this would be a little closer to their uh, habitat over here.
You think it's from the rain? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's rainwater draining. Water runoff, yeah, could be that too. Although it kind of seems to go uphill, but... But it could also go downhill. Summer's coming soon. 81%, wow. Yeah, I'm very happy I got a chance to play before uh, going to Japan. Japan's going to be great. I'll be taking lots of pictures. So exclamation point uh, Instagram, exclamation point Twitter. I've been before. Been there uh, two times before. Got some good friends there. And I'll be going with some good friends, too, from the United States and from the Netherlands. It's going to be awesome. Getting locked in. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is get these houses to upgrade. And so we need to make a clothing stall supply. So I think we need to make a, um, we got to do a tanning booth so then we can make clothes. So let's do that. Let's make some, t uh, a tanning thing, a tanning salon. We're going to put those hides in there and tan those hides. We just got to plug it into the wall. How tall am I? Six foot. A bit of the tannery out there too. We'll let these people go crazy with construction. What do we got for houses? 15? Looks like we're maxed out on people and houses. So we gotta build some more plots. Actually, wait, instead of building new houses, let's see what it's like to upgrade one. Living space expansion doubles the maximum family count for this plot. Oh, cool. We're going to see construction at a pre-existing. Hope we got the permits for that. So we'll build two expansions, two upgrades. Never seen that before. Never did that before. This is heavier than it looks. What we could do is move this hitching post to the other side. And then try to delete this road. And then we could try to build a road kind of more straight across and then try to put a plot there. See if that works. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, we need to consult the HOA, the Hovel Owners Association, to get yield permission from thine lord. Poor favor. Oh boy. Oh, it's Oh, finally the rain is gone. It's beautiful out again. Gorgeous. You know, it'd be cool too. I, I, it would be great to see decorative options for the buildings too that we could turn on and off. Building little walls and fences and whatever else. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Of course, we got the permits signed right here on the silver coins. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Man, these upgrades are going to look cool. I wonder what the other house is going to look like. 
We've not done that before. That's new. 150 fine coin. I think we almost get like, um, you know, like two, like we almost get maybe four different game modes in this because you could play prosperity mode with bandits on and have some sort of combat, but on a lighter, you know, you'll be robbed and they may attack you or whatever, but you, you go for their camp. So you, you can fight is what I mean. You might take losses. So there's that. Then there's the full peaceful mode, which is the city building against the elements. Then you've got the uh, restoring the peace mode, which is the kind of the standard mode as intended. And then you've got the last mode, which is on the edge, which is cool. Which is like that times ten. Am I watching the new Ripley show on Netflix? What, Ripley's Believe It or Not? Or are we talking about aliens? Chat, did anybody here see the Fallout series? I'm hearing good things. Is it good? The, the new Fallout... Uh, Show Todd said it was good. All of this just works. Yeah, Todd said all of it just works. Was it good? Did you see it? It's damn good, really. Hubby just finished it and loved it, really. Okay. Fallout so good? Oh, good. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear more dubs when it comes to video game adaptations. I really want... You know what I really want is, like, a, a Ghost of Tsushima movie. I'd love one for, like... I'd love a, a Netflix series or some, uh, some sort of series for uh, Days Gone. And also, chat, what do you think about this? A uh, live-action Netflix series for Frostpunk. I think that'd be badass. Especially, like, with Frostpunk 2 coming out. Because Frostpunk 2 is going to be a little less on survival and a little more on, uh... A little more on, like, conquest, kind of? Like, expansion. That kind of thing. Alright. Make it day again. Yeah, I think... I think Netflix would, uh... Or rather, um... Frostpunk would be a great series for anything. Yeah, and then, then you get a game for... Yeah, imagine that. 11-bit makes a game for Snowpiercer, and then... Somebody makes a uh, live-action series for Frostpunk. That'd be cool. God of War would also crush as a TV show. Yeah, imagine God of War, but as a sitcom. Like, Kratos would be sitting on the couch, looking at the TV, looking mildly annoyed. Boy would come in. Yeah, can I borrow the car? Boy... You only have your learner's permit, boy. But, Dad, I want to go to the ice cream social. Betrayed! I will not repeat myself again in this household. Okay, Dad. I love you, son. You know, because he's a loving father now. <laughs> I'm sorry I raised my boys. Chinatown Detective Agency series? No. No, I think that'd be horrible, and I'd hate to see that. Can they please move this damn log? I've been waiting for them to move this so I can build a road, so I can build a house. I'm speeding up time. Wait. Let's see if they're building other things. Where's the oxen, anyway? I can hear him huffing and puffing. Where's he at? Where the hell's he going? What was he down here for? Oh, they're building the damn farm, too. Oh, they gotta go a long ass way to build that. Oh, well, they delivered everything. At least for the farm. Okay. Oh, uh, now that we're building the farm, let's lay out the fields, too. Uh, fields of Manor Lords need to be very large to be effective, but also take a long time to plow by hand. For a starting village, try a field size of about one Morgan. Later, if you want to. I uh, want the region to focus on farming. You can consider spending a development point to unlock heavy plow in the up heavy plow upgrade, which allows plowing much bigger fields far more efficiently than utilizing oxen. Also, 
or more efficiently utilizing oxen. Also, remember to check the ground fertility. Some crop types are more picky about uh, the soil they grow on. And a rye was quite good, an emmer too. Okay. So field size is about... Oh, God. Farming! Farmhouse employs families who work on the fields. The uh, workforce is distributed proportionally in accordance with the field set priority level. When the crops are growing, uh, they absorb certain nutrients from the field, temporarily lowering, it, lowering its fertility and thus diminishing yields over time. To combat this, consider changing the crop types or even better, leaving the field to follow for a year. Yeah, I'll have tutorials on this too, on crop rotation and other things that might be questionable from some of you. You might be like, hmm, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess up. You have questions, we'll have answers. Uh, the requirements for this game, I think, are listed on Steam. And what's crazily, uh, what I always like, what what suppresses, uh, what surprises me every time is the fact that this game is like thirteen to sixteen gigs. It's like wah ha wah wah. Isn't a God of War show already planned? I don't know. Good good point. I don't know. I don't want these fields to be square. In fact, it's hip to be square. Let's do uh, rye first, though. Wait, what about emmer? Emmer could be anywhere. Rye and emmer could be together. Well, let's make a field. Oh, I guess we'll make cooler looking fields by making the road look nice. R roads? Crap, did you just say roads? Yeah, you thought this game would be 60 gigs? Yeah, I know. But think about it. We don't have, like, cutscenes. We don't really have, like... We've got a soundtrack, sound effects. And the game looks good. We don't have, like, the flashy cutscenes and... Chad, I'm so locked into this. I love it. You can't wait to play this? Good. I'm glad to hear it. I, ho I hope you have a lot of fun. I hope you get a lot of I ideas from everybody else who's playing now and come up with a ton of your own ideas to have fun and whatever. All right, that's 1.2 Morgan right there. Sony confirmed at CES 2024 that a series making is in the progress. Oh, really? It's in, it's it's in the bag. It's locked in. Gotcha. I always like it when the fields are closer to the uh, town, but in this case, <laughs> where we started, there was already like. Uh, it was rye fertility like where we started, and it was like, well, you know, got to build somewhere, and that's where the flat land is. Looks like we can also build here, which is nice. But the larger fertility for Emmer is up here. make another road. Boom. 
1.2. I think we can have a little larger fields for the emmer because it won't be as uh, high yield. What about flax? No chance, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, not so good farming here, but we still have lots of uh, berries, which we can make dye from. So that'll make a lot of good money when we get a chance. I think we should do that next. Make and export dyes. We want to have a few fields so we can also have um, rotation. Point eight on that one. Where's Tavern Banger? <clears throat> so I think that song. Tavern, the, the famous Tavern Banger song. I don't think we'll play in the game until we actually build a tavern. And since we're building farms, you know what happens next. Well... Does that not look cool? Have I run into Big Money Masook yet? Yeah, he, we bumped into him on the highway. He was like, hey, dude, where are you going? It's like, hey, man, you're about to be raided in front of this frontier. I'm trying to deliver some uh, spices. You, are you, you, can you load the save real quick? And I'm like, no, dude. I'm in Manor Lords. He's like, oh, damn, Manor Lords is dropping? And I'm like, Big Money. No, I got early access as a content creator. You have to wait until Mar April 26th. He's like, oh, dude, I got Game Pass. I'm like, all right, cool. He's like that. Of course, the Emmer fertility. Grass truly is greener on the other side. Look at that. Look at how fertile these lands are. Holy crap. There's like... There's no bad space to grow. Look at that. Ooh, wait a minute, chat. If we move into this territory here, we've already got a farm here. So if we claim these lands... We could start farming, like, here, too. And we could have a farm on both sides. Of, is there a river here? No, but this will be great. We could build, like, we could build almost one large farm here. Of multiple different farms. That's cool. Alright, let's assign people to the farm. Well, alright, we'll wait till next year, because... Well, I don't know, we could do it now. It's only April. Okay, let's start the uh, process. So we'll do wheat. Wheat. Follow, follow. Wait, Drop rotation on. Do wheat the next year there. Ah, uh, no, next year. And we'll try barley. Oh, we can also set uh, field priorities and such. Okay. The farming really does work like how it does in Austria, where you get people who are... Uh, you fill up that farm, and then they'll kind of prioritize the fields. The AI is very smart about farming, so I think we could build like a second farm there. And speed it up, maybe. Thanks for the great streams. Thank you very much. 
for the uh, kind words. Thank you. What is Game Pass? Game Pass is like this thing that Xbox offers. You can get this... Um, it's a subscription service that gives you access to a ton of like existing games and also like day one release games. So you pay a subscription fee, but if you play a lot of games or if you don't play a lot of games, I think it benefits you because if you play a lot of games, you'll be able to play everything through Game Pass, beat it, and then if you don't want to come back to it, it's like you didn't really buy it or spend money on it. You spend money on the subscription, but you don't have like a game in your inventory or your Steam library that you won't come back to. But also, um, you can play a lot of games on day one. So if you're a gamer who doesn't have a lot of time, you can try things. And if you really like it later, you can buy it or just play through it when you've got the time. And if you kind of get too busy or whatnot, you know, you don't have to like invest all all these weekends to get all, 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 everything out of it. You can just move on to the next game. Also, uh, another good tactic too that I think might work for a lot of people if you're on a budget is Epic Games has like two free games every week. Like every Thursday, Epic Games will drop like two free games. And if you don't like Epic, that's totally fine. But if you think about it, if you get Epic, if you get free games on Epic and you don't have to pay for them, that is more money for Steam for when a Steam sale drops. So two or three games that uh, maybe you were looking to get on Steam, you get on Epic, maybe it saves you 20, 40, 60 bucks. Then you can go buy a couple games on Steam on sale. Can you make mix germ bread? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Yeah, this game's only on PC. But if there is a chance for console, which I think is very slim, it will probably come after full release. 1.0. Yeah, we got nothing for flax. We kind of got shafted with the fertility here, but I, I, I think whenever I build a village in the future, I want beautiful location and farming. So I'm going to be real picky now. Like, what I want to do is get an area with a cliff and good fertility as my first city in the future. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have to, you know, refresh the map until that happens. All right, how's construction going? Did we build those expansions? Oh, there we go. We built like these little tiny houses. How cute. Now we got housing for 17. And we can build another house here. Finally. Let's build another house. Two. Well, I'll go with the two because that one gets the uh, the plot there. The tour in first person in a little bit, I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna build up the city a bit more, and then we'll we'll definitely do that. I want to build some more stuff. There's our Dyer's workshop. Oh, we'll need uh, logs for that. So we need to cut down more trees. Okay, we'll need more logs. And we'll have to build more housing. Look at that. We got more trade coming in. Fantastic. Eighty percent approval. Else. 
Almost. We're at 79. Buy two more oxen? Um, well, we could. I'd have to make more hitching posts. Also, chat did say something about buying a horse. To be able to transport more things at a time. I don't know if that's to the border to trade or if a trader has to... Well, the trader walks here, but... Uh, maybe it wouldn't hurt. Let's order a horse. And then that way we can transport things around a lot faster. So once this farm is complete... We got another person to work there. Oh, look at that. They're already cultivating. This will probably take a year of preparation. I don't, I don't think they'll be able to plant seeds until the autumn for certain things. Can't go wrong with multiple fritz. That's true. That is very true. Oh, we do need a hitching post for our, our horse. I thought he'd be stored inside the building. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a... Kitchen post. There we go. Alright, we'll put that in. Nice. Animal husbandry. Uh, well... We can certainly have multiple sheeps and goats together, but... see our horse shortly a horse a horse my kingdom for a horse hey look at there's new shops now cool they're like building new ones all the time I need to get another person in the trade depot because we have our trade set to uh, we're supposed to only be left with like 50 extra firewood so it's supposed to sell everything to get it down to 50. I'm building that tannery too. That'll give us leather. Actually, then we're going to see these houses get to tier 2. We actually might see our burgage plots get to tier 2 once clothing is pr provided. That's the last thing needed. And we have ourselves tier 2 housing. JD, welcome back. And welcome as a Raptor Ultimate member. Thank you very much for your support. Appreciate it. Do we need stables for the horses? You know, that would be a nice thing to be able to build is like a barn for all the animals. That's not for, you know, like for the horses and for the oxen. But you just need a hitching post. Firewood. Firewood. Play this all day, please. Yep, that's what I plan to do. I think I'm going to do it again tomorrow, chat. Call me crazy, but I think I'm going to play more of Manor Lords. Let's make that a high priority. Construct. Dude, we got 16 people in the town? How crazy. All these berries? Build our die maker. Now this feels like Austria where I want to build industries like this. JD also dropping a five bomb for chat. That's crazy. Thank you very much for five gifted memberships. Thank you. Where's the meat at? Yeah, good point. Uh, we need more of it. To make our dyer there. Uh, we've got hunters going for hunting. I guess the game is just getting a little bit more scarce, so they're getting harder to hunt. Alright, the hitching post completed. We should have our horse. Oh, there it is. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I saw that woman's hood and I thought it was like the... I thought it was like a white horse. It's alright, lady.
Wait, this is all they have to do? All they have to do is go across the street, load up with firewood, and go back across the street. That's that's their, their trip. They're basically like, you know, forklift operators or something. They're just... They're not going very far. Yes, there is combat in the early access. You can fight against bandits and brigands and also, like, big... Like, professional militaries. And or you can have uh, mercenaries and stuff. We'll be seeing that soon. We're gonna do... I was hoping in this playthrough that I had set it to uh, bandits and whatnot, but we may not have done that. It's kind of, It would be kind of cool to go into those places and clear them out and buy, but I guess doing a more peaceful mode allows us to build uh, a big village and see how big it can get and what we can do. Which is cool. Well, let's see. We now have 19 homes. 17 people living. Whoa. Yeah, imagine map mods. Or what would be cool is if somehow there is a way to figure out how to make a procedurally generated map. Although the handcrafted stuff is more appealing, honestly. You know, we're almost to the point where I think we should build our manor. I mean, we are a manor lord after all. We just need to get some uh, planks and stone. So there's some stone right here. We can just quickly build a mine there and start gathering the resources we need. And population, like, pretty happy, so let's get those numbers up. Should we not upgrade houses? I mean, we have the option to. Eventually. What we'll do is we'll get everybody everything they need that will make them super happy, and that'll increase our immigration rate to the town. Which would be nice. Gamer chick, welcome back. More wood is needed. That's right. Vegetables so fresh, you'll swear they was picked this Maybe more coffee is needed. Hey, does anybody want coffee? Does anyone want coffee? Who wants coffee? I just made a fresh pot of coffee. Does anybody want this coffee? Is looks. Coffee. Coffee. So, the die maker, what do they have to do? What is their input? Well, they just make the die, so I suppose that's all they gotta do is crush berries and then somehow bottle it or something? Into that high quality H2O? Alright, before we build anything new, I'm gonna let the builders get caught up. We have two of them now. And we got some houses and the windmill to build. If we're going to start growing crops, we'll need the windmill. At least in a, in a year. Just had dinner, salad, and pork chops. Ooh, that's nice. Welcome back. I wonder if there's more animals that we can hunt. In this game, I always see deer, but it'd be cool if there was, like, boar or, like, uh... Uh, giant, giant turkeys, bear. Wow, 
Wow, somebody immediately moved in already the moment they finished that house. And again. Alright, chat, time to supervise. Alright, people. Hey, what's up, Fritz? How's it going, bro? Love you. Can you actually help out? I can. I can supervise. I'm important. Uh oh, they're trapping me with the fence. Okay. Are we playing with or without bandits? Honestly, I don't know. I uh, tried to turn them on. We'll see if they show up. I do want bandits, though. But we will have some combat soon. We will go back to our uh, our military save where we're being invaded. Wow, we're up over f 244 bucks? Let's go. Yeah, there's definitely weapons in the game and armor, too. Spears, sidearms. Okay. Man, that's a lot of work. Look at that. Like four people doing this whole field. Wow. Bum, 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 bum. Now we could get more hides if we get uh, some goat sheds. What do we got for hides? Twenty-nine. Probably it wouldn't hurt to get more. And one more. Good. Good, chat. Good. <laughs> it's so cool to see them actually working on the farm fields like that. That's really neat. Can we have beehives? Yeah, we can make apiaries. We have to unlock that through the development tree. And I'm not sure what I want to do. Like, I kind of want to build the... Uh, I want to kind of... Well, I don't know. Plowing might be better to use on the other map, but I guess we could do that too. <laughs> Can you have my Steam account to play? Soon you'll be able to play. Soon. Okay, we're going to build our manor. So we got to get people on mining. We need stone to build our manor. So let's build that. Could build it closer to the road. Let's build it over here. Then they'll just walk up there, mine stone, and bring it back. So we need that to build the uh, the Lord's Manor, my house. We're building it up on that hill. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> they missed a spot. All right, well, we'll bring that up in the performance meeting. In our our one-on-one. -on -one. We'll cry about how we they were putting FedEx labels on upside down on packaging, even though it was still getting to the customer. Um, FedEx wants this pointing up. Oh, a couple of them were pointing down. Yeah, a couple were pointing down out of the several hundred that are shipped out. But it still got to its destination? Yeah, it did. Oh, okay. So you wanted to waste my time, your time, HR's time, everybody's time? Uh, what? Huh? We're letting you go. I'm in charge now. No, my powers. <laughs> Are there options to build a beautification things? Yeah, there's one statue in the game. There's two options for beautification. Uh, there's these little bushes that'll appear when you cut down trees. So if, if you clear cut a forest and then you want to build a town or a farm field there, you can delete these bushes with that. And then there's a little option to build a, uh, a little shrine. But the shrine doesn't cost anything and it doesn't do anything at the moment. But it does look like there will be... When you build those, it looks like there'll be a thing to, uh, like to benefit that. Could you turn off the day-night cycle? It's too dark to watch when it's nighttime again. Well, it is off now. Uh, but there's still it'll still get darker when uh, the rain comes. Yep. The light will dim when, when it's raining out. I wonder if there's actually options for brightness. Mm. I don't see anything. Wait. Oh, you can increase the size of the interface scale. Oh boy. Well, that's kind of nice. Kind of goes over the edge, though. And gets hidden by that portrait. That's eh, being worked on. Multiplayer? No, I don't think so. When does this release? April 26th. Guess they needed a reason to make more meetings. Mm-hmm. That's how it works. Can you make a quick comment about the game? How is it so far? It's fun. What has changed, etc.? Well, what's changed is that the demo was designed to only give us a taste. This is certainly feeling like a, an amazing early access game. But, to be honest, I've played quite a bit of this game so far, but it still doesn't feel like enough. But if you're looking for more details on the game, I'd say um, check their Steam store page and wishlist it. And they have all the requirements, the future pricing... Uh, more features and feedback and other stuff there too. So if you get the game and you have a problem with it and you get it on Steam, you can use like the FAQ there or community feedback or something. Or it'll also be on Game Pass. So check that out too. Because that'll be free for you. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be brighter when the rain stops. How are we doing on population? 22? 22 space? Okay. And we're building, yes, we're building this here. So we're going to start stone mining, and then we're going to build that the Lord's Manor chat. This is going to be amazing. Let's see if we can get the logging camp to clear that out. Let's put three people there. Change the work area. There. Cut down a couple of those trees. We gotta get a couple more people in gathering. There you go. Pretty. Look at this chat. Mm. 
Wow. It looks pretty. I know. Wow, we have fi almost 500 berries. Whoa. We need to get people like make another stuff out of this. The berries are great. Turning those into dye could be really profitable. In fact, what's the price of dye? If we make more of this into dye, we could try to get... Ooh. That sells for four. That's pretty good considering how much we can make. Leather sells for six, but our people will want that. They won't. They probably won't di want dyes. They'll just want clothes. Somebody to work at the tannery. Oh, and look at that. The windmill is complete. Look at that. That looks nice. That looks damn nice. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Okay, let me uh, do something here. We're gonna make a change. Uh huh. Okay, that should be fine. You know, is the is the dye that they're making used for dyeing clothing, or is that for like? Uh, well, I guess it would say ink if, if it was for writing. Uh oh, how do you fint it? Um, tell me more what you mean. Bum, 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 bum. How do you how do you find it? Find what? Is there any law in the land? Apparently not, but there is laws coming, I think, in the future. There's policies, but those are kind of laws, but not really. Strumming on the loot, yeah. The game, th this game will be sold where it'll be in your grocer's freezer. <laughs> where uh, popular games are sold, I guess. Steam, Game Pass. Hmm. We need a hot link for you to for the singing video with the questions for the chat. Yeah. Well, every game it's usually same couple of questions, you know. The easiest thing to do is always just kind of refer to Steam because that everybody can kind of read at their own pace. I think we're going to connect these two roads together. that little road go there okay
Tavern banger? Yeah, when we build the tavern. Should, should we build the tavern, chat? Would you all like to go to the tavern? Have a tasty beverage? Or a meat pie? Are we producing ale? Uh, we're getting there. We have started farming, so we can do that any moment. Cool, so we've connected the farm together with the manor. Oh, wow, we got a... Oh, 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 clothing stall just got built. Oh, my God. Oh, this is big. If a clothing stall is down, that means that all the needs will be fulfilled shortly. Yep, look at that. We just needed to provide linen, leather, or yarn. And we can start making a weaver, too, if we have flax. The productivity won't be so good, but... We're ready to upgrade. We're very close. Housing for 22. We need more houses. Or more upgrades. Does religion play a significant role? Yeah, there's, um, people want the church in the town to give you bonuses to approval. They want access to that. And then you can gain influence from the church, but that's not fully fleshed out yet. There'll be ways to do stuff with them. But I don't know exactly. They'll give you, like, influence, but I don't know what fully influence can be used for. Especially now, because some things are in pieces, so... Influence is important, and some things you can do with impl influence aren't yet in the game. Soon. We all know what that means. Couple more houses there. Hmm. We could break through and start building a town here, too. It'll be somewhat disconnected from the main town. Maybe we'll build through there. Mm. 
not need a lot of people for farming. Build more of the village on the other side. We can also clear out this area up here and continue to expand north. Which we might do. You watch this game for hours? Good. Well, welcome aboard to the stream. Welcome aboard. John, thank you very much for the uh, 13 dollary dues, bro. Thank you. Thank you for your support. She is clever. Perhaps he simply does not know how to cook properly. There we go. We fit another house here. I think this might be a little too small. Oh. Not. Do more carrots? What do we got for food there? Yeah, we could definitely use some more veggies. More meat, too, but I don't know if we can get meat by... Uh, well, I guess maybe the only way to get meat would be... Maybe with the livestock shack for goats and sheep, but I think they only give you wool and uh, and hides. Because it's not like a slaughterhouse or anything, so meat is kind of something that's hard to come by. Yes, I know, Cherry, you want your blueberry bush. Chat, chat, chat wants their blueberry bushes. I know. I know. We're Look, I'm importing the ones from Farthest Frontier into this game, okay? We're downloading the files now. I've, I've hacked into the Pentagon like we did a couple days ago. An anonymous hacker simulator. We hacked into the Pentagon and downloaded blue.berry.tehexe. Thank you. And, uh, yeah. We're locked in. When's raiding season? In the first, uh... In the peace and... Pros or what is it called? Uh... Restoring the peace. In the restoring peace scenario, they come out in the first year. After the first year. We'll get into some combat soon, chat. You s hey, look. I may get additional keys for this game to give away to you all. So I would say make sure you follow the channel and subscribe. Because uh, the devs are sending me something in the... Like, physically sending me something in a couple of days. And uh, it could have some additional keys with that. Or they may email me at any time. So, you subscribe and I'll uh, maybe do some giveaways if they give us some extra goodies. Build the tavern? It's a good idea. I like that idea. I think we should listen to them. How come I can't build this? Well, I don't see what the problem is. Takes 18 timber. We seem to have 21. Hmm. Well, let's do the tavern. Chat wants tavern banger. 
Maybe that's the highest priority for us right now is a tavern. And chat might not be wrong. But if we're going to build a town here with the church, and if we're going to build an extendo town here, then we need one ring to... I mean, we need um, one on. tavern to unite them all. Okay, yeah, that was close. build a tavern there. We'll also need to build a, mel a malt thingy, but and I wonder if any of these industry I don't know. Water doesn't seem to be really a thing yet in the game. Like, you have to build a well, but I haven't seen anybody dying of hydration or any industries really requiring it. This is a new scenario. Prosperity. We're building, like, the biggest and most efficient town possible. We could be attacked, but I don't know if it'll happen. first. I told the logging camp to come over here, and now we've got the, um, well, it looks like they did a good job. we got the oxen coming to pick that up. Yeah, the, the deliver the delivery of different types of foods are important to your people because they could also get disease if you don't provide a, a variety of food. A variety is good. It's the spice of life. Timber is needed. I'm going to pull back on one of our hunters, I think. We started selling clothes. Food variety 90%, fuel 81%, clothing 38%. We have eight leather. Oh my god. We are ready to upgrade. We can upgrade a house to tier two. Unlocks new extensions including artisan workshop. Residential requirements will increase. That just means we'll have new things to build. First upgrades are here, everybody. First upgrades. We can finally upgrade this town. This is awesome. So they did mention whoever lives closest to the town gets their needs met for or the, uh, uh, the, the market. We should build another market up here by the tavern then. That's what we'll do. We'll build a market and then a, uh, a bunch of houses. Perfect. All right, let's see what happens if we upgrade this house. Or maybe a house that doesn't have a, an extension yet. Let's see what happens. Oh, what? Level 2 Burgage Plots will generate one regional wealth per family per month. Oh, damn. So if we get, like, all the town upgraded? Oh, damn. It takes four logs to upgrade. Okay, so upgrading will cost logs, and it'll provide us with more money. That's really good. Love it. there. 
They still won't let me build. I don't think they want me building in that corner. Hi guys, thanks for the follows. Timber 16. Timber 27. I hmm, wonder why I can't build. Maybe it's because it's in the way of the woodcutter's lodge. I think it's glitching out and going over to that other house. Hmm. Berries so plump and juicy, you want to eat them by the bushel. Or maybe not. That's just the the arrow pointing to where to go. All right, let's try to build like two at a time then. Okay, we can do that. We could build a mega extendo. Let's try four at a time. Meaning we'll go we'll go four spaces and then see what it lets us build. So here we can build three. I need more people, I gotta get that farm up. One, two, three, four. Apparently, no. It is a weird angle, but it looks like it'll work. Oh, plot too small. What the hell? What a weird all right, we'll we'll come back to that later. Alright. Oh and uh, another market. Okay, I'm gonna build one more house. Apparently, one more big O house. Keep Firewood. Hello, I was searching for a big O stream and they sent me here. I'm in the right place. This is indeed the big O crazy million dollar deluxe premium uh, chef select and other uh, gimmick buzzword stream. Welcome. Construction finished. Good. Oh, uh, did the, the did the upgraded house finish? Oh, tier two is under construction still. We gotta wait for that tier two house to be done. That's our first look at a tier two house as well. 
So now we know kind of more... Firewood. Firewood. I, I feel like every time we build a house, I, I'm learning what to prioritize, you know? Like, we don't even really... Farming seems really good and interesting, but it seems like if we just focus on vegetable growth, berries, and meat, and then just try to prioritize the, uh, the tannery and get the houses upgraded, we can make a lot more... Well, a lot of money that way. But maybe not as much as trading. Work area is empty. Oh, for the uh, berry. The forger. We gotta make the uh, tavern a high priority. Sewage system? Uh, not at the moment. Not that I've seen. Step right up and sample. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, well, we got a fully uh, decked out farm now. Does each house with the garden upgrade give you the same amount of food, or do they give you more than bigger for bigger plots? Yeah, according to what the game says, the only thing it says that for is the vegetable garden. It says yields depend on the plot size. So if you make a bigger house, it's good for vegetable gardens. But I don't know if building a big house and then putting a chicken coop in it allows you to have more chickens. Like I, it doesn't, vi it doesn't say that in writing. So I'm not sure. Like, it just says, provides a passive yield of eggs, but it doesn't say how many. You would think that if you had a bigger backyard, you'd thus be able to have more chickens, but I don't have any guarantees on that. I want that to be the case, though. Oh. Public order. Looks like there'll be crime in the game in the future. Governs the chance of crime occurring... As well as citizens permanently turning to... <gasps> Banditry? If you make your... Si if the approval drops low enough, your si it's like in Tropico when people will join the, uh, uh, the rebels or whatever to overturn the government. Huh. So if you make people mad enough, they'll start setting off explosives at your guard tower and sabotaging your chocolate factory. That's what always happens to me. But yeah, deluxe premium. Just like the chocolate. That'd be the stream. The tavern is done! You all know what that means. We have to celebrate, chat. We must celebrate. This is the biggest moment in gaming history. Let's see if we can still do it. Yeah, we can. We can dance on the tables. I have to wait for the song to come on. It should come on now, though. Now, if it doesn't have anything... Oh, yeah. Clothing gives its own supply. But not firewood. I thought it did. I thought firewood supply gave a bonus. Don't we make it die yet? Man, we need so many people in the town. This turned out nice. I want somebody making die right away. We're gonna start trading that. start buying stuff. Uh, what would we want to buy? We're making eggs, vegetables, apples we're not making. Maybe some extra meat. 
Actually, no. What we might want to do is buy more construction materials for the uh, for the manor. And speaking of which, they have now completed the uh, stone cutter camp, so we should start mining. So there is uh, 180 stone there. And this is where we're going to build the manor. Oh. Stop. Manor. Time. Stop. Manor time. We'll also need some planks. We're going to need a lot of planks to construct that. That Okay, so ones in the chat, if you guys have played or have, or you know about a game called um, Foundation. Foundation's a game where you get to build a bunch of, like you build a medieval town just like this game. It, it Actually, this game is very similar to Foundation in many ways, although it's a little bit more cute and cuddly, Foundation is. In that game, you get to build a manor, you get to build uh, cathedral, churches, uh, monasteries, all sorts of things, like, kind of freely. You get to lay out walls the way you want. You get to, you get to lay out a lot of stuff the way you want. And um, building the manor in this game is a lot like that, where you get to put down the, the manor house, then the tax office, the garrison tower, another, like, kind of a gate tower, and then the, t uh, the gate itself. So... It really works like that. But we need a boatload of materials. I'm going to have to start putting people back to work in the old pit. The pit of despair. Okay, now we have housing for 36 out of... Okay, so we can get 10 more people now. And I think the people work on the farms until November. So they can keep cultivating and stuff until then. <gasps> what the hell? We actually have wheat for harvest? What? No way. The yield with it... What will the yield be? What's estimated yield? Burn field. Whoa, you know, that would be interesting if the enemy was... In Imagine this. I don't know if you could do this. It might just destroy the field, but imagine if the enemy was coming close and then you just lit the uh, the wheat field on fire as a barrier, or you trap them in there and like you kill all of them with <laughs> with fire. That could be a that could be a thing. Oh, yield thirty five. Thank you. Estimated resources produced. Days left to harvest. Wait, this will last all winter. So that one's 35, that's 17. I don't know if that's a lot or not. I don't know what the conversion rate to flour is. We'll need people for that too. I'm desperate to take people off the farm, but since it's actually doing something, I think we'll leave it alone. Dude, we got so much going. Dude. Oh, and and our tier 2 building's almost done too. Or like it's, it's probably getting the stuff it needs. Zero out of four, so it is not. But they were building an entire neighborhood up here, so we can't really blame them. I mean, they're getting stuff done. I mean, they just built all these houses, so it's not like they weren't working. However, if it were corporate, it's like, um, we need to talk. There's been some concerns. We've only built eight houses this year, a farm, a windmill, a tavern. But this one building didn't get done. What happened? Oh, yeah, 94% approval? Look at this. Holy crap. Well, until we upgrade all the houses to Tier 2 and then everybody wants what they always want, like in Anno 1800. It's like, where is my cucumber mineral water and where is my vegan air? Is it locally sourced oxygen? 
Is, is the, does the tree grow near my house that produced this O2? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, I'd rather die then. It's like, okay, I'll build the corpse pit then. Here you go. <laughs> I have no problem with that then. Right this way to the corpse pit. Not all deserve to be buried in consecrated ground. Use this building to get rid of any raider corpses quickly. Workers become grave diggers. Hell yeah, brother. Gonna get that monster truck in there. Manor Lords has not released, and this is also not a demo. This is a streamers, content creators, everybody else got two weeks early access to it to showcase the game. It's kind of a marketing campaign. So we're all playing for free, but we all got keys. And there, look, there was no way I was not going to play this game. Like, no way. In fact, it's the only reason why I went, I agreed to go to Japan, because when I learned the release date was the 26th, and the, my friends wanted to go on the 1st, I'm like, all right, cool, I can try to make as much content in, like, four days then. But, luckily, I got two weeks in advance, so I'm happy. JD, thank you very much for the dollar, dude. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. One dollar. That's nice, thank you. Hmm. Dude, they're they're doing some work at this farm, man. And I wonder if we build another farm, that might like double the production. It's hard to tell though, like if you're overworking your people too much. Like how I wonder what the Morgans to farm ratio is. Because right now each of these is about one. So we've got what? One uh two, four, five? For eight people? It seems doable. Not sure if anyone's working at the tavern. Yeah, I don't have any uh, booze yet either, so I didn't turn it on. Because it says uh, nothing stored inside. It doesn't seem to produce anything unless it's actually functioning. I was hoping that perhaps it could be a social gathering place and maybe somehow bring like one happiness just for it existing, but no. So that means we're also going to have to build... The malt thingy, but I think we're gonna wait until this house upgrades. Oh, it did upgrade. How is it any different? Oh, oh. Oh, they're upgrading now. They're taking it all apart. Or are they just ripping the roof off and adding like a second story? Dude, they're doing a remodel of this rustic one bedroom. How would you advertise a home from like. The year, like, 1,000, what, 200? <laughs> yeah, we're streaming on YouTube as well. So, exclamation point Twitch, if you're uh, watching on YouTube, you can also watch on Twitch. But, uh, how, how would you do How would you do an advertisement campaign for this? Like, you'd be on uh, Hobble Hunters. John and Mary are looking for a... <laughs> A one-room hovel to raise their 19 children. He's a surf by day and a surf by night, and she's also a surf. Their budget is what, whatever the Lord provides. We're looking for something. We're looking for a two-bedroom rambler. Ah, ain't gonna work. <laughs> Medieval house hunters. There's gotta be a. Somebody must have made a YouTube video like that. That sounds pretty damn funny. Hobble Hunters. And well, it comes uh, fully furnished with a bed of hay with fleas in it. And an outhouse that's not overflowing. Wow. Are they taking the whole house down? Dude, when you upgrade a house, it takes the whole damn thing down. I wonder if that... I wonder if that makes this person homeless for the time being. That might be something to consider. If you're going to upgrade a house in the winter and take everybody off farming. Oh, damn. Everybody's coming over and getting in the hustle. I better act busy, too. Uh, yep. Uh, good job. Are they making it bigger? What's going on? Look at this. Yeah, 
Yeah, really close to work, walkable community. <laughs> Pet friendly, because literally you have chickens in your backyard. Yeah, you'd have to market it that way. But it would be like, you know, it'd have to be like medieval age marketing where it's like, well, a year since last raid or bubonic plague outbreak is at least one. Looking like a good area, honey. We should probably sign the paper, but I don't know how to write or read. I'm fascinated by this. Like, I'm, I'm trying to... It looks like they ripped it down to the foundation, and then they built an extendo frame onto the foundation. Like, they extended the frame out off the foundation, and then they... Are they building a bedroom onto the back end? I don't know if this is up to code. Greg might need to... <laughs> we might need to call him and tell him some of his buildings are not up to code. And look at this, by the way. We build this huge plot, and then there's just, like, ruins back here. Like, what happened back here? There was nothing here before. Like, my workers were busy uh, building debris. Like, are we... It's like, are you guys making the set of Back to the Future 3? What's going on here? Oh, that that's the guest house? Oh, yeah. Wow, lavish. You might be able to stand up. It's actually taking a while to upgrade this house. Like, That's about halfway. Does it have all the materials? No, it's only got half of them. Where are the oxen with the wood? Oh, right. They have to go all the way up here now because we're... Oh, the oxen are coming all the way from up here. We need more oxen then. But that means I need more free people to just haul stuff. Hey, pal. Start pulling your weight. He's supposed to be working at the trading post. I'm, yeah. Linhart should be over here working on trades. Apparently, the, he, the horse is supposed to help transport stuff from the trading post, uh, like, 50 at a time. So if you're trying to put in, like, a, I don't know, let's say you made 50 tools or something at the blacksmith, and the blacksmith is waiting to ship them out, Mr. Ed over here Step will uh, walk over to the blacksmith and start hauling those tools. So the oxen are for plowing the fields and uh, picking up logs. Yeah. Lucky dog for getting to play this early. Yeah. Well, it's nice to share it with you guys because then we get to we get to talk Manor Lord's tactics and see how the game is played. I don't know everything. Chat's been throwing out some good suggestions. I have appreciated it. Big preach. The big preach. You always name your first horse glue stick. Wow. So at this point in the game, our regional wealth is high. We could probably buy like a a mercenary group if we were dealing with bandits or something like that. We'd probably want to keep it cheap with like local thugs and just have them, you know, most of them or all of them may die, but that's just a financial decision I'm willing to make. It's an investment, you know. It, yeah, it's like when you invest in stock and bond, it might, you know, hey, maybe you'll, maybe you'll get a couple hundred, couple thousand bucks back, but, you know, could always blow up in your face, you never know. Oh, the people are still out working in the fields. It's cheaper recruiting your own troops than hiring mercenaries. Yeah, it's true, but 
Um, that takes a lot more time. And if you think about it, I feel like it works out. Because if you if you pay a fee, it is expensive. But if I'm making a ton of money from like exporting dyes or something like that, uh, versus like if I if I recruit my own people to go into battle and a lot of them die, we might have to wait a very long time for people to come back. And also that could destroy the village's economy because then I have to take everybody off the stuff that's making money to then put them back on making food. So yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we have a trade post, yeah. Oh, add the horse to the trade post. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Uh, to make it a dedicated worker. You mean like this. Oh, wait a minute, that looked like a... Looked like they assigned an oxen. The I can't see who is exactly assigned there. I think this screen could be a little more well done. I mean, it shows what looks to be an oxen, but I can't see what animals assigned there. Assigned two oxen, but zero horses. Okay, so he is assigned. I think there could be redundancy then. Like, give me that information. Like at, at the stable space. Then, if I look at, li I don't know. There, there should be something here where it just says stable space one out of one. It should then show the horse and then show that he's assigned or something. I don't know. There should be more ways to just point, like multiple arrows pointing to the same solution. You know. How do you get early access to the game? You'll have to buy it on April 26, 2024, or get it on uh, Game Pass. Bum, bum, bum. Saving finished. Oh, here we go. Here's the Tier 2 house. Has all the materials it needs. All right, let's go back. Oh! Hey, we upgraded from thatch to a uh, wood tile roof. Or uh, wood shingles. Look at that. Wow. Damn. Alright, so a, kind of a noticeable dip. I like how subtle it is. These aren't really a big change. Definitely a different roof. And the walls look a little cleaner in a way. Oh, what does this want now? Oh, now they want a tavern. We got that. They want us to upgrade the church to tier two. And they want also shoes and clothes. Okay, so to make shoes, we could just make a cobbler in somebody's backyard. Actually, we could probably make this house be a cobbler. We just need five planks. And they need to be artisans anyway, which they're already tier two. Oh, great. That's perfect. These guys can make shoes for everybody in the town. So the tavern's being built, and we're going to work on ale then. And then the church just needs to be tier two, which... Ah. Okay, so to upgrade the church again, we need ten planks and ten clay tiles. Or just buy those or whatever. It might be easier to buy some of these things because, you know, at this point, if we want to speed things along rather than waiting for population, we can just make a couple purchases. Although, the sale, you know how it is in these games, too. The sale price of the tiles are probably like five each. Importing them is probably like 50. So 50 tile, 50 silver per tile. Imagine that. Imagine that. And do we have planks be made? None. Work, 
Okay. You'll not find finer ways anywhere else. Pretty. Yeah, we're, we're going to build a castle here. Well, a manor. But it might end up looking like a castle when we fortify things a little bit. And the church will look a little bit like a castle, I think. I think these homes are going to re look really nice when we upgrade. I wonder if we could upgrade the guest house. Oh my god, we can. Or is that the other house? This this has a sheep plot on it, but also a guest house. I wonder if that would upgrade both houses. You'd have two families with one upgrade. So we could get two more families of artisans by upgrading one plot. But it might cost the same material, like, you know, doubled because of the doubled output. Did I see that bell right is being released at the end of the month on Discord? Oh, yeah. I did. Yeah, we'll definitely play that, too. It'll be fun. More family members joining, good. How do we build that cobbler? Oh, we can build it now. Ah, it needs planks though, but I... Mm, I think we should upgrade the church first. I'd, lo I'd love to see an upgraded church. And also the tavern. So that means we're gonna have to start mining clay. And clay is where? Way over there. Is there a road? There is a road. I don't know if it's connected, though. I'll build my own road. build a clay pit nearby. Ah, has to be built over. I want to rip out the minimum amount of trees. I think the best we were getting was four. Raptor, you're the most beautiful thing I've seen today. What? Haven't you looked at chat? Chat's beautiful, too. Haven't you seen all the beautiful artwork chat's been painting lately? Like they're a regular old Robert T. Boss. They're drawing paint portraits and paintings of him right now. <laughs> Robert T. Boss. Boom, boom. All right, that'll get built eventually. Come one, come all. Ah, we need a clay furnace, too. Burr, burr. 
Look at all that titanium white. <laughs> What's up, Tapple? Welcome back to the stream. I guess I'll build the clay furnace next to the iron pit. It's gonna be uh, kind of nasty over here anyway. Lots to build now. We got room for 38 people. 38 families. Great. Portraits and paintings, exactly. Okay, and we also need to build a malt. Oh, you, you know what we should do is build a granary up here. So people don't have to transfer all the stuff for the uh, windmill too far. I guess it's already good. Okay. And then we want a malt house. I like how we're prioritizing beer before bread. <laughs> like we're making ale before we're making bread. Hell yeah, brother. Where is that thing? Where's the malt house? There it is. Oh, that's a big building. just liquid bread. Yeah, you're probably right. Good, man. We got, like, tier 2 housing now. Feels good, man. Only one of the fields is not done. Oh, we're getting more uh, wheat now. We almost doubled the uh, yield. Oh, right. It's still growing. So that's not even halfway done. So we'll probably get almost like 150, maybe. Okay. That's good. Is stone coming in yet? Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got 35. And 10 planks. We're going to need way more planks. Well. I think since the uh, saw has to get delivered by oxen, it might take a little while, but... Major construction's kind of... Going down here. We might want to buy another oxen. But I don't know. So, how many do we need? Oh, we just need 10. Um, that's the only thing remaining to upgrade the small church. Then there's just 10 tiles, and then we can do it. So for mining clay, we're good. 
Oh, winter again. Well, I guess we'll get people to mine clay. Or actually maybe help out at the manor. So let's do this. All we need is... To import some planks, I think. Purchase price is 12. God. What about selling dye? Dye sells for four. We'll zero out dye. Okay, so now we're selling dye. That'll make some money too. It'll buff out. Yeah, I think we'll buy another oxen. We'll buy one for the, uh, specifically for the, uh, flank cutter. And we can lay out our manor, but we can't build any advanced stuff until we have the materials. I wish there was some sort of a blueprint mode for that. We could save it. Iron mines must be built on iron ore. Well, there's two types of uh, mines in the game. So there's the mining pit. So that works for clay and iron ore. That's what we're building here. And then there's one for the stone cutter, which we built over on the other side. So we built two of these mining pits. One for clay and one for iron ore. We got a lot of iron there. April 26th release. <laughs> There's only two seasons in Manor Lords, winter and construction. Yeah, and I'd argue that the construction season goes year round. Bro, our happiness is at 99%. Wow, okay. I feel like even on the more difficult challenges, there might be easier ways to keep your uh, approval up. I hope so. can't give berries and stuff away fast enough. Let's put people in the trading post. I think they might walk to the border. <gasps> the horse is being used. Are they taking the horse to the edge of the map? Oh, yeah. Oh, no way. Wait, that's the trader incoming. No, it's not. Oh, dude. We actually have... Okay. So this dude rides to the border on the horse. Oh, damn. The horses are actually good. We might want to buy another one. We can Im increase our exports. Hell yeah, brother. It's actually good to see it working. Another horse. Let's get to work. That was awesome. Firewood. Yeah, 
That is beautiful. Did you hear that? Aladdin was banned from the magic carpet race. He was caught so using performance enhancing rugs. Man. Chat, please, we have guests. This is heavier than come it looks. Come on, come on. Berries, so rise rise and juicy. Fine, so you want to eat them by the bushel. Look at our little medieval town. Look at that. Aw. So we're definitely getting another oxen for sure. Well, that and they're all they're going all the way up here to pick up <laughs> logs from cut down trees from Wait a minute. Where are you going? Dude, don't do it. Dude. Okay. He scared me. Town looks great. It's, it looks pretty good. It's kind of uh, you know, a little too row housey right there, but that was me trying to push forward with upgrades and stuff. Hey, but as soon as it hits March, we're going to see some serious farming, and we're going to be making ale, and then one of the needs will be fulfilled. And then we'll work on the church, and that'll be two needs. And then the last thing is just building a uh, building a cobbler in the backyard. Looks like we got 30 planks, so that's good. It didn't hurt too bad to buy those. Come one, come all. Keep your half warm. Berries so plump and juicy. You'll want to eat them by the bush. I'll buy more and then we can export the ones we don't need or whatever. Did your crops die because of the cold? Uh, they may have. I don't know why our people didn't harvest them. They said they were about 300 days away. No, they're still alive. Co according to this, they're still alive. They're not supposed to harvest for 234. Must have been some sort of planting glitch or something. I mean, it, they, they're dead, obviously, on the field. But here, th there's a number here. So, technically, they're not dead. Still says growing. Crop growing at 62%, so I don't know. We shall see. Step right come on and come on. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Yo, Frontier Gibberish, thank you very much for your Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much for becoming a sub. Firewood. More people moving in. Well, perhaps it was come on, come on. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Whoa. Goodbye, money. Yeah, that's alright. We got lots of uh, dye to sell. Don't be shy. Good Unfortunately, we can't see what's on the cart. It just says, trader is trading. This is April 26th. April 26th. Yeah. Can't read that name. YouTube will explode. 
Okay, uh... Wait, so are we mining? Oh, it doesn't seem to list clay. Unless... There it is. So it's a crafting material, so zero clay. Okay. Oh, the mining pit's under construction. Wow, 100% approval? Damn. That's amazing. They couldn't be happier. And neither could I. New family moved in, good. Is empty for the forger. We could build a herbalist here. Start, sir. Maybe we sell herbs. Uh, giving our people an extra thing to buy would make more happiness and maybe more money. Whatever. Let's do it. Upgrade the herbalist. The herbalist. I know you're probably obligated to say yes. Nope, I'm under no obligation. Uh, but have you been liking it so far? Yes. The music is sick. I agree. Reminds me of Kingdom Come Deliverance. I agree. That first person mode when you're walking around. I keep mentioning that, yeah. No, the only the only thing was uh, there's an embargo that ended today, so nobody could share anything until today, but we could play it ahead of time. And they've asked us not to give a review until April 24th, which I think is fair. They've told everybody... You can't review the game until people... Like, you can't give it a score until, like, the 24th. Which means anybody who is truly giving a rating and a review to this game that's comprehensive has to actually play the game before they give a review. And they've given them plenty of time to do so. So, if someone comes out with a review and they're like, Yeah, it's cool, I guess. Uh, buy it today. They, they didn't play the game. I mean, you have to ask them why. But if they write an article and it's just, like, you know, generic then they probably didn't they probably didn't play but i think with the time that they've given people and they probably have given the big big boys like IGN and Kotaku earlier times which i don't know honestly the only thing i care about uh nowadays the the only thing that seems to happen now in terms of like uh, exclusivity is it seems like IGN time after time gets like trailers to things a little bit earlier and then a, a day or two later, then we all get the emails. So what will happen is, like, let's say, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't want to give a bad example like Grand Theft Auto, because Rockstar would just release that on their uh, on their channel. But let, let's just say, I, I really don't want to use that as an example. Let me think of something else. Homeworld 3. Vegetable. Get your daily dose of greens. Let's say Homeworld Help 3 um, is coming out soon, which it is. And they're going to showcase one of the missions in the game. So they'll send IGN a copy like a week in advance. They'll make their video and they'll drop it. And then like a week later, um, they might email content creators with a Steam key for the one mission or something like that. Like a special build for that mission. Or... Or they'll just say, hey, we put footage up, like, you can you can showcase this footage now, or whatever. Kind of weird, but that's about all that happens nowadays. 
Yeah, I'm I'm hap I'm unhappy I'm not seeing 110% approval, but you know. Oh, Smurfette, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Welcome aboard. Firewood. Firewood. You know, honestly, I don't know what makes this number go up and down. I mean, the only thing that seems to happen is like the positivity levels will like it'll go from like seven to three. Maybe it has something to do with winter. Like you know how in Frostpunk people get pissed when the temperature drops and they just discontent increases and that's just that's just what happens. You give people everything they want and it gets a little colder and then they just get mad. Unless you have that unless you crank that generator way up. No, we haven't built the Lord's Manor yet, but I think we just acquired all the materials for it, so I think we're about ready to start building it. We've got a lot of plank, stone, tools, timber, and we're getting ready to get what we need for the church, so we're getting clay for that. Oh, also, we're before we start the, the Lord's Manor, I think we need to build these, which we just finished. Good. I was get, buying some more hitching posts so we could buy some oxen to transport stuff over there. Oh. We can only buy one ox in every 30 days. Okay. So we'll have three. So now we're going to buy more. As soon as we can, we'll buy maybe like four oxen in total. Two to help with the logging and two to help with the construction. And then they can switch whatever has the higher load. Alright, time to build our manor. You know, actually, it might be easier to build this thing in the spring when the ground isn't white. It uh, it, it is kind of hard to see the white transparent uh... <laughs> when you when you're building in this game and you're in the free mode. It's it's like that white translucent. Um, you know, like when you build roads, it's very very hard to see. Like that's that's kind of hard to see, isn't it? Especially with the. Uh, Contour lines, yeah. Yo, Reaper! Thank you very much for the four months on your four-month street. Follow me on YouTube, follow me here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, exclamation point Twitch if you want to go watch over on Twitch or follow over on Twitch or um, drop your Twitch Prime sub. Also, I mentioned it before, but we might be able to do a giveaway on Manor Lords. I don't know if it'll happen. Let's just say it might. It probably won't. But there is a chance. The developer is sending over something in a physical box for Manor Lords. I have no idea what to expect. But sometimes when they do that, the developer will send like a little card. And it'll be like, you know, play our game on August 26. Here's a bunch of keys. And they'll, they do that so you can either tweet them out. Or if you're working for a game review company, they'll, you know... Like you can take pictures with the stuff and what you know, whatever. They send you stuff to take cool pictures, free promotion for them. And then some free keys, which since I already have the game, I would like you guys to have the game. So we might if we get them, I'll drop some keys for y'all. But if that doesn't happen, I also have keys to other games like uh, Factorio, like Factory Builder called Captain of Industry, which has a little bit of survival building to it. But also it has um like uh, an attack, like you can build a battleship and attack enemies. So it's got warfare, it's got survival, and it's got like crazy conveyor belts and pipes and stuff like that. So, yeah. Oh, you purchased Anno 1800 because of me? Oh, awesome. Anno was great. I, I honestly wish I could go into a time machine to go back when I was playing the Anno 1800 beta and getting all excited about getting to artisans and stuff like that. 2019 was a great year. I love that. For me, Personally, playing Anno 1800 and like experiencing that for the first time, and then, and then it dropped, and going through that campaign, I just I love that, I love that so much. Yeah, Donna Man is also very good too. We got that on the channel, for sure. Welcome to all you new followers. Thank you guys for subbing too. Thank you. Okay, we're waiting for uh, we're waiting for March. Let's wait for March. And then we're going to build this manor lord. Manor. I 
Okay, let's get somebody working. We want to make ale first, so I'm going to get somebody working at the malt house first. And then the granary. Then let's have the granary only gather wheat, rye, flour, and then beer. So we'll be able to store everything from the farms and then... Step right up and sample. Oh, 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 there it goes. Okay, here we go. This is it. All right, the snow is thawing. It is time to build our frickin' base. Our, our main command center. Beautiful. Can you eventually build castles? Um, I don't know. The game's also early access, so, like, I would say in this version of the game, it's not like what you think with, like, a big keep and whatnot from, like, stronghold but you can build a manor and put a wall around it there's defensive towers and maybe there's a chance to build like stone walls but i'd say it's probably mostly things made of wood palisade type stuff only around the uh, around the manor but honestly where you build your manor in this game might really matter because again this is an rts so the enemy might try to eventually attack your manor and your troops will be stationed there too so if we build it up on the hill you know this gives it so that way we only have to like kind of defend you know forward left and right like three angles which is really cool as where if we built it you know up over here they could m maybe come from behind or surround us or something but I, I don't know it's just kind of a smart idea to use that All right, that clay mining pit is done. We need that for planks. I mean, for um, tiles. Can we buy another oxen yet? Eight days. What would be nice, then, is if some things are limited to 30 days or whatever, it would be kind of cool to have a day counter in the game. But I guess you could just check at the change of a month, but you never know. No, you can't fight battles like in Mountain Blade, no. But you can't... I, maybe you can witness them. Like, you can go into first-person mode, maybe stand there while your troops are attacking or something like that. Just be a bystander. Be like, whoa, what, that's some crazy stuff. Okay. Manor now, finally. For real, for real. So, let's build our manor. Requirements. Settlement, small village. Wait, it says it... It looks like there's a padlock on there, but... Aren't we a small village? It's letting us build it. Where can I see village info? Small... Oh, we are a small village. Oh, next settlement is level, is medium village. And if we upgrade one more burgage plot, we'll unlock tier two. Okay. I don't know what that unlocks, but all right. Kind of a weird requirement. Look at this. It says you only need five burgage plots level one or higher. So essentially you only need to build like seven houses, two of which need to be level two. Well, actually, no, it says level one or higher, so you'd only have to build five. Interesting. Am I going live tomorrow with Manor Lords? Yes. I'm also very excited to play Frostpunk, uh, their beta, when that comes out on the 15th. We'll be taking a look at that. That looks like it plays a lot different than the first game. Honestly, I feel like a lot of people are not going to like it because it's very different. Uh, but I'm going to give it a chance because it does look to be a little bit like a Civ game where you're 
conquering the Frostlands now. Like, humanity has survived, and now they're going to try to do what humanity does best, which is... You'll see. Uh, let's see. Rod with the five bomb for the chatty chatters. Thank you, Rod. And welcome back. Good to see you. Yet again. He's locked in. Guy's locked in. Loves himself manners. <laughs> and loves himself lords, I guess. <laughs> and the combination of the two is like peanut butter and chocolate. And if you don't like that, then maybe caramel. And if you don't like that, then... Uh, Trying to think of something really tasty. Pasta? Pasta's good. It's the best of both worlds. Alright, we're definitely building the manor. I need to build it where my, my chi and my okra and all that stuff are aligned for yoga for my online hot yoga classes so I need to make sure that the house faces a particular direction and I want the materials to be locally sourced welcome to the castle planner this is a work in progress feature right, I'm gonna be honest folks of what I played so far this is the most difficult and weird thing for me to understand so we're, the, bear with me as we struggle through this this unless you have the materials in advance this is a little bit of a struggle I'm going to be honest, because here, here's the issue. Um, when you build the Lord's Manor, it's just like a little house. But you want to upgrade it eventually to have things like the tax office, so you can tax your people for more money. Your garrison tower, so you can have a military and manage that and defend your, your manor. The outer tower, which is for defenses of the walls and gates. But when you build these things, notice how they add construction costs. So it's plus 1, then plus 10, plus 5, 10, 15, 10... And then the uh, tax office is just four. Plus, you also have to build roads within it, too. So there's a few things to think about. Plus, that circle you're kind of limited to. But when you build other stuff, then it makes the circle bigger. But it makes it like circle and circle. So you end up with a, something that looks like the, the number eight or something like that. It's kind of weird. But just, just bear with me. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, here you can edit the layout of your castle and plan the construction of new wings and towers. When you press commit, the old... Layout will disappear and the new one will be constructed. For now, the cost is also fixed. So I don't know what that means exactly. If there's a way to change the cost, a, a perk or something, I don't know. But anyway, so I think first we should just start with the house. We're just going to plop that down. And then I would also suggest don't build a road to that yet. You Use the, uh, use the, um, the castle planner to do that. Yeah. Just build a road that gets close. I guess you could delete it later. But you should delete that road before you finish the walls. Because I don't think it'll let you delete. Or maybe actually, it can, maybe it can't be built within that circle. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to build that uh, manor. It's going to be cool. For real, for real. Okay, four days and we can buy a new ox. Also, since a lot of logs got to be delivered up there and it's up on a hill, that's why we got more oxen. But luckily, the oxen don't give us an expense. Like, we don't have to worry about any sort of cost for them. Also, I guess we could monitor this by pinning it. Then buy a new one when it pops up. Alright, looks like we're almost full on our houses again. I don't know if I want to expand too much more without being able to feed everybody. I don't know if I can keep feeding everyone on this expansion like this. But I guess we better put people in the windmill too. Yeah, we only got four free people. They should be used for the construction. Also, from what I've seen so far... Um, It looks like rocks have to be delivered by hand. So stones have to be brought up one by one. So if a recipe says that it takes 15, somebody's got to walk back and forth 15 times. They don't use a cart, which is like... Are you... Are you... Are you kidding me right now? 
That's right. This game is so damn good, though, that I really want to see this style of game. I hope this really inspires so many other people to then make games on, uh, you know, Japanese periods of history with expansion like this. With uh, feudalism and whatnot. I mean, imagine, like, you know, imagine all the total wars, but manor lords. You know, Egypt, ancient China, Japan. Be neat. And then managing those resources in those different climates too, like creating rice paddies and po like beautiful po pagodas and temples and building in very, um, you know, not not rocky soil. Or sorry, not flat soil, but like mountain cliff sides. Yeah. All right, we have another ox on the way. Yeah, Rome would be amazing. I mean, for the time being, it, uh, Hooded Horse is publishing at least these games that are in these places. Like, what would it be like to build in the Eastern Bloc or in a country that was on the border between the two and had to figure out how the hell to survive? Like, you know, Czechoslovakia or whatnot. So you got Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Then you got Ancient Rome. That's Nova Roma. Then you got the future, like Space, which is Falling Frontier. Like, there, there's like a game for everything now coming out from this publisher, which is great because they all look enticing. Like, they all look like they're kind of neatly done. It looks like there's a... What the hell? Are they are they walking up here? Where? How are they getting up here? Bro, what? Oh, they're putting on all-wheel drive diff lock snow runner tactics. What the hell? Bro. Damn. Five out of five, eight out of twenty, zero out of fifteen. Let's, let's watch another ox come over. I shouldn't complain because they're actually taking a shortcut, which is nice. Yo, Ryan, thanks for s subscribing and same with uh, Serena. Thank you very much, everybody. Sorry, Ini, thank you very much. There they go, they're hauling the rocks. So it's going to take you a long time to build your manor. Like, a farm takes a while, but damn. And to cultivate all that takes a bit, but... The Lord's Manor. Dude, look at... These are all... Wait. Weren't some of these supposed to be follow? Wait, crop rotation's turned off. Didn't I turn that on? Wait. I thought we hit up all these fields. Well, now it's on. Like Donkey Kong. We'll do a couple years of follow. Hopefully, there's a way to increase fertility. If the, if the fertility is low by default, I hope there's a way to actually get it up over time. There is a, some sort of a dung management system in the game. But I don't know how to get that. It might be provided by the goats when we build an actual farm. Uh, I mean a livestock farm. Okay, that's actually fine. Work area is empty for the forager. No, it's not. I mean, it shouldn't be. Work area should be automatic, so... Yeah, it would, it would be amazing, too, to play as Japan during the time of, like, uh, you know, people wanting to come and trade and managing all that. Essentially, it would be, like, Victoria 3, but I don't know. I want it to play like this. Well, a lot of stuff's been delivered so far. Oh, they didn't deliver the stones yet? They're still on their way? People are going to die on the road. Starvation. Can you grow cover crops? 
Uh, you can make follow, but that's about it. But um, no things like uh, clover or whatever. I know in Ostrieve, though, that you can make animals, uh, you can like release them onto the fields as a pasture in order to get the fertility up. And I think you can do that in Farthest Frontier. You think the bird, burn field option might add fertility? You could be right, maybe. I thought that was just for either A, killing the enemy somehow if they walk through your giant fields, or B, uh, it doesn't say, damn. But I was thinking maybe it was for, uh, like if you, I don't know, if a crop was diseased or something like that, you could give the order to just destroy it. Hey, damn it. I wanted to be up at my house. Yeah, burn an infestation maybe, or crop disease, I don't know. Oh, there's a little bit of a hill here. Well, we, well we're putting our tower here then. All right, well, hey, what time is my jacuzzi getting delivered? And if we could add another story onto the helicopter landing pad, that'd be great. And then I want two ovens just in case one breaks for my dino nuggies. All right, looking good. What was this thumbs down? Uh... Oh, the tier two is mad because of the tavern. Fuel stall supply. Wait, what? Bro, we got plenty of char. I mean, uh, plenty of firewood. Approval will fall if not met. I mean, bro, you got to go shopping. I mean, you you live across the street from the market, dude. Like, hmm, let me check. Wonder if there's any firewood here. Berries so plump and juicy, you'll want to eat them by the bushel. Carrots, cabbages, turnips. I oh, don't see any, but... Fuel at 0%. Oh, really? But why, though? We have a ton of uh, firewood and storage. Maybe they need to go cut down somewhere else. Wait, didn't I tell them to cut down up here? Anyway, we got tons in storage though. 143 is surplus. Hmm. Yeah, we got more than we need. Oh, I see. Oh, the trading post is getting all greedy and taking it all. But they shouldn't have all of it. We should just... Oh. They're taking it all to store it in there and selling all of it. They're not they're not they're not just taking a little bit at a time. They're taking all of it. Okay. Then I'll just say no more exporting of firewood for now. And then will they take that back? I want to get more people to work at the um, at the at the uh, dying thing. Well, damn the man the man was almost done. <laughs> Use batteries. Yeah, we got we got a trench digger coming out soon, so we can uh, get an underground connection. I'm getting like an ISDN line put in and like uh, plumbing. <laughs> the serfs have no idea. They're going to be like, sir, what is this me metallic dragon that's delivering this cat caterpillar uh, 
D8 bulldozer, brother. Like, you're gonna keep this quiet. I wonder, does this other market sell? I didn't even build a stall there. That's fine. We just need to get more people in the industries. Can you go and attack other regions? Yeah, there's a whole. Uh, you can hire mercy. You can like get. Um, you can get militia, and then you can train them into more advanced units. So archers, pole arms, spears, and militia. And then you can also recruit mercenaries. So if you want some added support, they are a little spendy, but um, you know if you do them well, they'll really help you out. I think uh, the 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 biggest thing here in this game is not to risk the population. You gotta have, you gotta make like your main settlement for food and stuff like that to feed people and then you need to do a settlement that's just strictly for just get popping those numbers up because if you get attacked or if you invade a region with a bunch of people in it and they all die or retreat or whatever whatever run away whatever the case may be if the people don't come back you're gonna have a bad time because then you gotta make up for all that population all over again you gotta sit here and wait on times 12 and or possibly get attacked again and it could be one of those things where it's just, what do they call that, a cascading failure? That could be a bad time. Bum, 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 bum. Run away. Oh, the rain. Well, we're almost done here. One more plank and uh, four more rocks, and we're good. Oh, here they come now. They're taking the elevator. Okay, one more plank. And then we need to build a, a little tax office so we can start bringing in that bling bling. You know, just a minor service fee for nothing in return. Yep, bandits do attack. They sure do. We'll be seeing a whole variety of content in all these streams, though. We'll be doing peaceful stuff. We'll be doing... Um, you know, we'll build up militaries, we'll counterattack, we'll be doing everything you can do in the game. We will. Taxation! Click on the Taxes tab after selecting your manor to uh, set the levels of taxation. Taxes can boost your treasury and influence at the cost of making your pe population poorer. Ooh. Yeah, now we can expand that. Oh, also requires refueling. Great. We have some problems with fuel. We gotta build a uh, another firewood thingy slow down time. Luckily it's May, so we got all summer to fix it. Oh wow, look at all these taxes. War tax, citizen tax, mercenary tax. I want to do a service fee, international transaction fee, uh, processing fee, filing fee, wheelage tax. We'll just make up a bunch of words and attach numbers to them. That's all we got to do. No fall for it. Oh, they don't like it? Alright, let's build a wall around it and then put a tower up. Hidden fees, breathing tax, yeah. What's that one that, uh, there was the window tax where people, that's where the term daylight robbery came from. People bricking up their walls, or windows into walls. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. Make sure to hit the like button for Raptor for streaming 12 hours today. Yeah, that's true. We're about, we're about 12 hours in, not to mention the video and stuff. I think it's safe to say I like this game, but I'm not sure yet. We might have to do 
well, I don't know, maybe two weeks more of 12-hour uh, streams nonstop. Let's do that, just to be sure, just to be sure. Anyway, let's worry about the uh, fuel problem now. Actually, wait, now we got 57. So we're good. So what are we going to trade now? I guess instead of um, trading berries, we should put people into uh, trading... You'll not find di making die. But I definitely want to trade die. How does one get early access for this? Uh, you'll be able to buy it on Steam or play it on uh, Game Pass on the 26th. Otherwise, all streamers and content creators pretty much got access to this. We've already seen some really cool... Uh... Oh, wow. We saw an amazing battle in our first stream. You remember that first battle, chat? Wow, wasn't that crazy, that first battle? Where, what was it, 100 dudes went into a camp and tipped over a tent and then left? <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ma, ma, ma. I don't know if we want to tax anything. A land tax, like 1%. Predicted approval loss, 8. Damn. Can I not put in a custom number? 5%? Nah, I think 10% is fine. Oh, wait. 15% is only 11. All right. I'll take that hit. Making quite a bit of vegetables. Is there a way to make meat in the backyard? Well, goats provide hide. We could use more hide because we're about to make. Uh, we're we're going to make a cobbler to make shoes, and we're already making clothes. So we definitely could use some more goats. We'll do two next to each other. Mm -hmm. yep. And living space for sure. And let's upgrade another house to level two. And let's do a house that's on the same street. We'll do that next house there. And we'll expand the living space when it's done. We'll do a tier two upgrade and then we'll expand the living space. So we're going to get more room to breathe. We have 41 homes. And we're going to get more people in. We're going to get them locked in. Yeah, we're making peach cobbler. Peach cobbler. There's a little bit of a hill. Actually, we're kind of on, on the hill. Apple cobbler. There's apple cobbler? Make the gate to the fort here. It'd be really cool if we could, like, dig trenches and, like, make a little, um... connect it this way. Uh, it'd be cool if we could make trenches and build a little moat. Or at least just some sort of a trap of some sort. Oh, I gotta make that road all the way from the... Ah, damn. That's okay. We gotta make the windy road back down there. But that's all good. I'll do that later. They don't even seem to be using the road anyway. They're walking up from like right here. What 
damn, what's going on in my house? Can I come? Oh, I got kicked out of my own house. They shut the door right in my face. Damn. Cool. So house number two is upgrading. You just put your first couple hours into Austria, not bad. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's a good game. Yeah, there's videos of Supermarket Simulator on the channel, yep. Well, it looks like we're going to harvest a ton of wheat in the next few days. That could make a lot of uh, booze for the tavern. I haven't even heard tavern banger once. I thought we were going to hear it when we built the tavern. Nope. those roof tiles coming along. I think we want to work on that upgrade first. It's actually a really nice uh, and easy game mode to understand how everything works. I, I think many people will want to go right into the military stuff and then we'll just maybe misunderstand a lot and possibly just get defeated. And then maybe get frustrated, but I hope they don't. I hope they either figure it out or try this game mode. cookies that'd be nice settlement level increased we got another development point excellent don't be shy good sirs and ladies what don't do this to me what where'd it go When your settlement gets to tier two, it mu it must start playing new music because we haven't heard this song before. Th now I remember, when you upgrade your uh, th this is why I associated it with the tavern because sometimes the last thing we would do before we upgraded was build the tavern so we could get the tier two houses everything they needed, and that coincided with farming. Damn it. We'll uh. 
we'll have to uh, we'll have to hear it sometime. It'll start playing now though. Like now, now we've unlocked all new songs. This is a bop. It it it, it, it indeed is. Yeah. We'll we'll get our tavern banger. One day. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Now we just need the tiles. And we can upgrade the tier 2 church. I'm going to put two people to work there. And our other house upgraded, so let's expand the living space. If we can, I'm going to upgrade more of these houses to have more living space. Alright, so that'll be some of our new upgrades is to get the population limit even higher by upgrading the space. And then we'll expand up here, but it seems like a good idea to, to build with what we got. Good. Tavern banger soon. We got to get into some military stuff again, chat. We got to get into some combat. I was hoping in this, uh, you know, when we set this up, it would we would have uh, bandits or whatnot before we had to, you know, we had to clear them before we went to other areas. But uh, I think the easiest thing I would have done at this point is like now that we're making bank, like we're making some good money, and it would be nice to see like more on the statistics of that. But I would just buy mercenaries and go and just clobber them. You know what I mean? But um, we'll have to do that tomorrow. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. We're taking a little break from Manor Lords for tonight. It's been 12 hours of big O streaming, so make sure you follow the channel, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, all that good stuff, and we'll be hopefully doing some giveaways on Manor Lords soon. Tomorrow morning, we're going to see some combat in this game. It looks like we're about to be attacked in our other save. So in the mornings, we'll be doing our um, save of, uh, I guess, Combat Raptoria, and this one will be Prosperity Raptoria. So make sure you, again, subscribe to the channel, exclamation point gift. Thank you, everybody. For all the crazy big O gift bombs all throughout today, both on Twitch and on YouTube. So thank you very much, everybody. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe on Twitch. Uh, drop your Twitch Prime sub. And then on YouTube, uh, make sure you become a member if you want access to all those perks, emotes, and more. And we'll be back bright and early tomorrow morning with another stream of Manor Lords into another video of Manor Lords into another stream of Manor Lords. It's Manor Lords Month. Manor Month. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night, everybody. Bye-bye. See you soon.